This glossary of botanical terms is a list of terms relevant to botany and plants in general. Terms of plant morphology are included here as well as at the related glossary of plant morphology and glossary of leaf morphology. See also list of Latin and Greek words commonly used in systematic names. You can help by adding illustrations that assist in understanding of the terms. Topic A Ab A prefix meaning from, away from, or outside. A baxial the surface of an organ facing away from the organ's axis, e.g. the lower surface of a lateral organ such as a leaf or petal. Abort To abandon development of a structure or organ. Abscission The shedding of an organ that is mature or aged, e.g. a ripe fruit or an old leaf. Abscission zone a specialized layer of tissue that allows an organ to be shed by abscission when it is ripe or senescent. Commonly formed, for example, at the base of a petiole or pedicel. Acolescent. Having no apparent stem, or at least none visible above the ground surface. Examples include some species of agave, oxalis and atalaea. A crescent. Increasing in size with age, such as a calyx that continues to grow after the corolla has fallen, for example in Physalis peruviana. A-C-E-A-E -E. A suffix added to the stem of a generic name to form the name of a taxonomic family, for example, Rosaceae is the rose family, of which the type genus is Rosa. Akeen a dry, one-seeded indehiscent fruit, e.g. in the genus Fragaria, in which the true fruit is not the so-called berry, but the achenes, which are the so-called seeds, on the infructescence. Acicular Slender or needle-shaped Acropital Moving from roots to leaves, e.g. of molecular signals in plants. Acrophyll the regular leaves of a mature plant, produced above the base, usually used in contrast to bathyphyll. Acrostichoid Describing a type of sorus covering the entire abaxial surface of a frond, usually densely so, as in elephaglossum and acrosticum. Actino A prefix that indicates a radial pattern, form, or morphology. Actinodromous Leaf venation palmate or radially arranged venation with three or more primary veins arising at or near the base of the leaf and either reaching the margin or not. Actinomorphic Regular, radially symmetrical, may be bisected into similar halves in at least two planes. Applies e.g. to stels and flowers in which the perianth segments within each whorl are alike in size and shape. Compare regular, contrast with asymmetrical, irregular, and zygomorphic Aculeate Armed with prickles, e.g. the stem of a rose Acuminate Tapering gradually to a point Acute Sharply pointed, converging edges making an angle of less than 90 degrees. Compare obtuse Add A prefix meaning near or towards, also meaning added to. Adaxial The surface of an organ facing towards the organ's axis, e.g. the upper surface of a lateral organ such as a leaf or petal. Adnate Grown or fused to an organ of a different kind, especially along a margin, e.g. a stamen fused to a petal. Compare conate Adventitious a structure produced in an abnormal position, e.g. an adventitious bud produced from a stem rather than from the axle of a leaf. Adventive Introduced accidentally usually referring to a weed. Aerial Of the air, growing or borne above the surface of the ground. Estivation The arrangement of sepals and petals or their lobes in an unexpanded flower bud. 
Compare vernation, the arrangement of leaves in a bud. AFF. Affini. With affinity to others, akin to, often used for a provisionally recognized but unnamed taxon considered close to that name, perhaps a hybrid or extreme variant. Aggregate fruit. A cluster of fruits formed from the free carpels of one flower, e.g. a blackberry. Compare multiple fruit. Agricultural weed. Seaweed. Allate. Having a wing or wings. Albumin. An older name for the endosperm of flowering plants. Except for being a storage tissue for nutrients, it is not at all like the albumin egg white of animal embryos. Albuminous. Seeds containing endosperm. Ales. A suffix added to the stem of a generic name or descriptive name to form the name of a taxonomic order. Alien. A plant introduced to an area outside its natural range. Often synonymous to or used in combination with foreign, exotic, non-native, and non-indigenous. Alkaloid. Any of a loosely defined class of organic compounds found in the tissues of many species of plants. Alkaloid molecules have one or more alkaline reacting nitrogen atoms in their carbon structures. Many alkaloids are commercially important as drugs or poisons e.g. caffeine, morphine, quinine, and strychnine, each of which occurs naturally in certain plants. Alternate 1. Adj, leaves or flowers born singly at different levels along a stem, including spiraled parts. 2. Prep, when something occurs between something else, e.g. stamens alternating with petals. Compare opposite. Amant. A synonym of catkin. Amphitropus. When the ovule is bent so that both ends are near each other. Compare anatropus, campylotropus, and orthotropus. Amplexical. With the base dilated and clasping the stem, usually of leaves. Anastomose. Branching and then rejoining, as with leaf venation. Anastomosis. A connection or fusion of two or more veins that are normally diverging or branching, thereby forming a network. Anatropus. When an ovule is inverted so that the micropyle faces the placenta, this is the most common ovule orientation in flowering plants. Compare amphitropus, campylotropus, orthotropus. Androdioecious of plants, having bisexual flowers and male flowers on separate individuals. Compare andromonoecious, polygamodioecious, polygamomonoecious, polygamous. Andricium Male parts of flower, the stamens of a flower collectively. Compare genetium. Abbreviation, A for instance a 3 plus 3 indicates 6 stamens in 2 whorls. Androgenophore A stalk bearing both the andricium and genetium of a flower above the level of insertion of the perianth. Androgynous With male and female flowers in the same inflorescence. Androphore The stalk or column supporting the stamens in certain flowers. Andromonoecious Having bisexual flowers and male flowers on the same individual plant. Compare gynomonoecious, polygamodioecious, polygamomonoecious, and polygamous. Anemophily Pollination by wind. Angiosperm a flowering plant, a plant with developing seeds enclosed in an ovary. Anisummary The condition of having a floral whorl with a different usually smaller, number of parts from the other floral whorls. Anisotomic Branching with branches having unequal diameters, such as a trunk and its branch, compared to isotomic. Annual a plant that completes its life cycle germinates, reproduces and dies within one year. Annulus Ring-like, in the form of a ring. Pappus bristles are sometimes attached to a ring annulus or disc at the top of the akene beak. 
In some pollen grains, the exine around the apertures is either thicker or thinner. In pores this border is termed annulus. Having a ring-like constriction annulus at the mouth of the flower is in huernia or aristolochia. A ring of specialized cells on the sporangium. Anterior Positioned in front of, towards the apex. Compare distal Anthemoid in compositi, style with a brush-like tuft of sweeping hairs at the tip of each style branch. Anther Pollen-bearing part of the stamen. Antherode A sterile anther of a staminode. Anthesis 1. Of a flower. The period during which pollen is presented and or the stigma is receptive. 2. Of a flowering plant, the period during which flowers in anthesis are present. Not defined for some cases, such as when pollen is released in the bud. Anthocarp A type of fruit in which some part of the flower persists, attached to the pericarp, as in Nyctogonaceae. Anthophore a stalk-like structure, internode located between the calyx and the other parts of the flower. Anticlinal Pointing up, away from or perpendicular to a surface. Compare periclinal Antrors Directed towards or upwards, e.g. of hairs on a stem. Compare retrors Apetalus Lacking petals Apex Place apices the tip, the point furthest from the point of attachment. Aphenanthus of flowers, inconspicuous, unshowy, as opposed to phanaranthus, showy. Aflebia Place aflebi imperfect or irregular leaf endings commonly found on ferns and fossils of ferns from the Carboniferous period. Apiculate Usually referring to a leaf terminating in a short, sharp, flexible point, less abrupt than mucronate. Apophily A form of pollination whereby pollen is distributed by honey bees. Apo A prefix meaning, away from, separate, without. Apocarpus of a genetium consisting of one or more carpels which are free from one another or almost so, e.g. in members of the Ranunculaceae and Deleniaceae. Apomixis A type of reproduction whereby viable seeds or spores are produced without fertilization. A plant produced in this way is called an apomict. Apomorphy In cladistics, a different form from the form of an ancestor i.e., an innovation of use in determining membership in a clade. Apipetalus Petals separate, not fused sympetalus, also apipetally Apophysis The external part of a cone scale, an outgrowth of an organ or enlargement of a stem. Appendage a secondary part attached to the main structure, an external growth that seldom has any obvious function, hence appendiculate. Appendiculate. Having the nature of or bearing appendages. Oppressed. Pressed closely but not fused, e.g. leaves against a stem. Aquatic plant. A plant whose natural habitat is water, living in or on water for all or a substantial part of its lifespan, generally restricted to fresh or inland waters. Arachnoid Cobwebby, from being covered with fine white hairs. Arborescent Tree-like in growth or general appearance. Arboretum Place arboreta a taxonomically arranged collection of trees. Archaeophyte A non-native plant that has been present in a geographic area for some time. Compare neophyte Arctotoid In compositi, style with a ring of sweeping hairs borne on the shaft of the style proximal to the style branches. Areolate Having or being composed of areoles, as an areolate crustus lichen. Areol 
a space between the threads of a net, e.g. that part of a leaf surface defined by each of the elements of a vein network, as with cacti, the area between the veinlets of a leaf or the region of a cactus where spines and flowers are born. In lichenology, an aerial is a polygonal piece of a thallus surface when a crustus lichen it broken up like old dried and cracked paint, or like the polygonal islands of dried mud in a dry lake bed. Aral A membranous or fleshy appendage formed by expansion of the funicle, which partly or wholly covers a seed, e.g. the fleshy outer layer of lychee fruit, or that found in members of the sapindaceae. A restate with a stiff, bristle-like on or tip. Article A segment of a jointed stem or of a fruit with constrictions between the seeds, an organ part that separates easily from the rest of the organ at a joint or articulation. Articulate Jointed, separating freely, leaving a clean scar, for example, the fronds of certain ferns where they join the rhizome. Ascending Spreading horizontally, then becoming erect. Ascocarp The fruiting body sporocarp of an ascomycete fungus Ascomycete A member of the ascomycota. Ascomycota A division botany or phylum of fungi commonly called sac fungi. It is separated from the division basidiomycota. Asexual reproduction Reproduction that does not involve gametes. Often used synonymously with vegetative reproduction. Asymmetrical Irregular, unequal, lacking any plane of symmetry. Attenuate Narrowing gradually. Oracle An ear-shaped lobe. On Long, bristle-like appendage, e.g. terminating or on the back of glooms and or lemmas of some grass spikelets, and the so-called on in the geraniaceae is the part of the style that remains attached to the carpal that separates from the kerpophore column. A generally straight, stiff pappus element, varying from stiffly bristle-like to hard and needle-like. In Strophanthus the on is the beak of the seed, stipe of the coma hairs. Axel the upper angle between one part of a plant and another, e.g. the stem and a leaf. Axile On an axis, of a placenta, on the central axis of the ovary. Axillary Born in or arising from the axle of a leaf. Axis The main stem of a whole plant or inflorescence. Topic B. Baculiform. Rod-like, longer than wide. Compare cylindrical. Barb. A rear-facing point, as in a fish hook. Barbed. Having barbs pointing in one direction. Barbellate. Having barbed hairs. Barbelly. Bark. The protective external layer of tissue on the stems and roots of woody trees and shrubs, includes all of the living and non-living tissue external to the cambium. Basal Situated or attached at the base Basifixed Something attached by its base, e.g. an anther attached to the filament. Compare dorsifixed Basipital Developing sequentially from the apex towards the base i.e. with the youngest towards the base, e.g. of flowers in an inflorescence. Also, moving from leaves to roots, e.g. of molecular signals in plants. Bathyphil A specialized leaf produced at the base of a plant, usually when the plant is immature, and which serves to anchor the plant to a substrate, especially notable in the fern teratophyllum. Compare acrophyll. Beak A prominent pointed terminal projection, especially of a carpal or fruit. Berry An indehiscent fruit with the seeds immersed in the pulp, e.g. a tomato. By A prefix meaning to, for example, bisulcate, having two sulci or grooves. 
Biennial A plant which completes its life cycle germinates, reproduces and dies within two years, usually also forms a basal rosette of leaves the first year and flowers and fruits the second year. Bifid Forked, cut in two for about half its length. Compare trifid Bifoliate Having two leaflets a type of compound leaf Bifusiform Fusiform with a pinch in the middle Bilabiate Having two lips, e.g. the form of the petals in many irregular flowers Bilateral Loosely referring to having two sides. There are several meanings depending on context, e.g. arranged on opposite sides, e.g. leaves on a stem, cf. distichous, opposite bilaterally symmetrical, as in a leaf with a symmetrical outline having two distinguishable sides, such as the two faces of a dorsiventral leaf. Biloculate Having two loculi, e.g. in the anthers. Binomial Making use of names consisting of two words to form the scientific name or combination in a Latin form. For example, where the first is the name of the genus to which the species belongs, and the second is the epithet given to that species to distinguish it from others in the same genus. Binomial nomenclature the system of nomenclature in which the scientific name of a species and not of a taxon at any other rank is a combination of two names, the first name being the generic name. The second name is referred to botanically as the specific epithet. Note that the two names constitute the species name, not just the second word. Bipinate Doubly pinnate, for example, of a compound leaf with individual leaflets pinnately divided. Bipinatisect A pinatisect leaf with deeply dissected segments. Bisexual Bearing both male and female reproductive organs, usually, flowers with both stamens and carpels, synonymous with hermaphrodite, sinecious, and monoclinus. Bisexual flowers only occur on monoecious plants. See also androgynous, monoecous, and plant reproductive morphology. Bitegmite of an ovule covered by two integuments. See also unitegmite, having only one. Bitternate ternate, with each division divided into three. Bivalve having two valves or hinged parts. See also trivalve. Blade the lamina or flattened part of a leaf, excluding the stalk. Bloom a fine white or bluish waxy powder occurring on plant parts, usually stems, leaves and fruits. It is easily removed by rubbing. Bowl The trunk of a tree, usually the portion below the lowest branch. Compare canopy Bostracoid Arranged on a conical surface like a snail shell, used to describe inflorescences where the buds are arranged in an almost helical manner on the outside of a long tapering conical rotches. Bract A modified leaf associated with a flower or inflorescence and differing in shape, size or color from other leaves and without an axillary bud. Bracteate Possessing bracts Bracteole a small bract born singly or in pairs on the pedicel or calyx. Also called a bractlet. Bracteolate. Possessing bracteoles bractlets. Bractlet. See bracteole. Branchlet. A small branch. Brevet deciduous. A plant that loses all of its leaves briefly, so that it is leafless for only a short time, e.g. approximately two weeks. Bristle A straight, stiff hair, smooth or with minute teeth, the upper part of an on, when the latter is bent and has a lower, stouter, and usually twisted part, called the column. Brochidodromus Pinnate leaf venation in which the secondary veins do not terminate at the leaf margin, but are joined in a succession of prominent arcs. Brocus 
Replace broachy width of one lumen of a pollen grain reticulum and half of the width of the surrounding murray walls. Hence heterobrochate and homobrochate where the lumina are of different or similar sizes. Bryophyte Informally, a collective term for the mosses, hornworts and liverworts. Formally, these plants are placed in three separate divisions, hornworts Anthocerophyta, liverworts Marchantiophyta, and mosses Bryophyta. Bulb A thick storage organ, usually underground, consisting of a stem and leaf bases the inner ones fleshy. Bulbal A bulb arising from another bulb. See bulblet Bulbil a small, deciduous bulb or tuber formed in the axle of a leaf or pinna, a means of vegetative propagation. Bulblet A bulb arising from another bulb, a bulbil. Bulate Having rounded or globular blisters on the surface. Burr a prickly fruit, a rough or prickly propagule consisting of a seed or fruit and associated floral parts or bracts. Buttress root A root growing from an above-ground stem or trunk, and providing support, as in the case of Ficus macrophylla. Bisoid A growth form of a lichen thallus that is wispy, like teased wool. Topic. C. C. C minus C plus. In lichenology, C is an abbreviation for the test result of placing 5% solution of calcium hypochlorite or sodium hypochlorite, e.g. household bleach without additives, on the cortex or the medulla of a lichen to note the change in color, with no reaction noted as C minus and production of a bright color noted as C+. Caducus Falling off early, for example, the sepals of poppies, which fall off when the petals begin to open. Compare persistent and fugacious Caspitos Tufted, e.g. the growth form of some grasses Calcareous a soil type that is rich in calcium carbonate, a lichen substrate rock type that is largely composed of calcium carbonate. Callus Hardened, thickened, callus. Callus 1. Place calia protruding mass of tissue. 2. Indifferentiated tissue growth formed in response to wounding, may be grown in vitro. 3. In orchids, fleshy outgrowths from the labellum which can be variously shaped from papillae to plates. 4. In grasses, a hardened extension from the base of a floret formed from the rachilla joint end or the base of the lemma which may or may not elongate and is often covered in hairs or bristles. Calicifloris Having petals and stamens attached to the calyx. Calicophyll a leaf-like structure formed from a sepal or calyx lobe which enlarges, usually many-fold, before or after anthesis, especially when most of the sepals or calyx lobes retain their original size. More extreme than an accrescent calyx, calicophylls are found in rubiaceae, cf. semaphyll, terophyll, calliculate, having an epicalyx, calliculus, 1. A cup-shaped structure formed from bracts resembling an outer calyx. 2. In some Asteraceae, a circle of bracts below the involucre. Calyptra A hood or lid. See operculum Calyx Place calyx is a collective term for the sepals of one flower, the outer whorl of a flower, usually green. Compare corolla Calyx tube a tube formed by the fusion of the sepals calyx, at least at the base. Cambium A tissue layer that provides partially indifferentiated cells for plant growth. Coma 
tuft of hairs from testa or funiculus at one or both ends on some seeds, as in strophanthus, aslepias or alstonia, or sterile bracts, as in curcuma, ananas or eucamis, or sterile flowers as in muscari, lepoldia, at the apex of some plant inflorescences. A tuft of hairs at the base of some flowers is in Fafia naphaleoides, a tuft of hairs at the apex or base on some spikelets. An axle tuft of hairs in inflorescences in some Poaceae is in Aragrostis comata. Campanulate Bell-shaped Camptodromus Pinnate venation in which the secondary veins curve toward the margins, in some cases becoming nearly parallel with them, and not reconnecting with other veins to form loops. Campylotropus When the ovule is oriented transversely I. E. with its axis at right angles to its stalk and with a curved embryo sac. Compare amphitropus, anatropus, orthotropus. Canaliculate Channeled, having a longitudinal groove. Canescent. Approaching white in color, as in a leaf covered with white down or wool. Canopy. The branches and foliage of a tree, the crown. Also refers to the protective upper layer of a forest. Compare trunk. Capillary. 1. N. A. Tube, pore or passage with a narrow internal cross section. 2. Adge, slender, hair-like Capitate Having a knob-like head, of an inflorescence, with the flowers unstalked and aggregated into a dense cluster, of a stigma, like the head of a pin Capitulum A dense cluster of sessile, or almost sessile, flowers or florets, e.g. a flower head in the daisy family, Asteraceae, see Pseudentheum and Pseudentheum Capsule A dry fruit formed from two of more united carpels and dehissing when ripe usually by splitting into pieces or opening at summit by teeth or pores. Cardoid In composite, style with a ring of sweeping hairs borne on the shaft of the style below the style branches. Carina Sea keel Carinal canal a longitudinal cavity in the stems of Aquisitum and extinct Equistopsida, coinciding with a ridge in the stem surface. Carpal The basic female reproductive organ in angiosperms, either consisting of a single sporophyll or a single locule of a compound ovary, with a style and a stigma. The genetium is the collective term for all of the carpals of a single flower. Carpopodium on achenes an elongation of the base of the genetium which looks distinct. The abscission zone, where the achene is separated from the receptacle. Cartilaginous Hard and tough, gristly. Caryopsis A dry, indehiscent, one-seeded fruit in which the seed coat is closely fused to the fruit wall, as in most grasses. Casparian strip a continuous band of suberin in the radial primary cell walls of the endodermis in vascular plant stems and roots that forms a permeability barrier to the passive diffusion of external water and solutes into the vascular tissue. Casual alien A plant that appears with no apparent human assistance but does not develop a sustained populations. Plants that persist only by new introductions. Compare alien Cataphyll Cataphyll literally means dropped leaf, and in botany refers to plant structures that in morphological terms are leaves, but that have at most an incidental, passing photosynthetic function. They either are shed when their main function has been completed, or are incorporated into structures where, when dead, they either are protective, or act as supports. Examples of cataphyls of the type that gets shed when their protection function has been completed, include the calyx of many species of poppies, and the bud scales of deciduous trees such as oaks. Other examples of cataphyls include the shedding of storage organs such as cotyledons in some species, and bulb scales that once shed, remain underground as protective dead tissue. 
Few of those examples of catafals perform the usual functions of leaves at all, and not for long if so. Catkin A spike, usually pendulous, in which the mostly small flowers are unisexual and without a conspicuous perianth, e.g. willows, poplars, oaks and casuarinas. The individual flowers often have scaly bracts, they are generally wind-pollinated. The catkins are usually shed as a unit. Caudate Having a narrow tail like appendage or tip, e.g. a drip tip. Compare acuminate Caudex Place. Caudices the stem of a plant, also used to mean a rootstock, or particularly a basal stem structure or storage organ from which new growth arises. Caudiciform Stem-like or caudex-like, sometimes used to mean pachycol meaning thick-stemmed. Colleen Born on an aerial stem collies, e.g. leaves, flower or fruits when applied to the latter two organs, usually referring to older stems, equals cauliflorus. Cell 1. The basic, microscopic unit of plant structure, generally consisting of compartments in a viscous fluid surrounded by a cell wall. 2. A cavity of an anther or ovary. Centrifixed Of a two-branched organ attached by its center, e.g. a hair or anther. Cespitos An alternative spelling of caspitos. Chartaceous Having a papery texture. Chamber A cavity of an ovary. Channeled Sunken below the surface, resulting in a rounded channel. Chasmogamous Of flowers that are pollinated when the perianth is open. Compare Cleistogamous Chasmophyte A plant adapted to growing in crevices or hollows, such as in cliff faces. Compare Cremnophyte Chimera an individual composed of two or more genetically different tissues, most commonly as a result of a graft and sometimes within the individual, by mutations and irregularities that occur during cell division. Chiropterophilus Pollinated by bats. Chlorophyll A green pigment in chloroplasts essential for photosynthesis. Chloroplast an organelle present in plant cells which contains chlorophyll. Chlorosis An abnormal lack or paleness of color in a normally green organ. Cilia Sing, cilium, adj, ciliate very small hairs or hair-like protrusions more or less confined to the margins of an organ, as with eyelashes, in modal cells, minute, hair-like protrusions which aid motility. Circinate Spirally coiled with the tip innermost, e.g. circinate vernation of the developing fronds of most ferns. Cirrhose of leaves, ending in a tendril at apex. Cladode a photosynthetic stem, often leaf-like and usually with foliage leaves either absent or much reduced. Compare phyllode. Class the principal category for taxa ranking between division and order. Clathrate Shaped like a net or lattice, pierced with apertures, as with a cage. Clavate Club-shaped Clavuncula Style, stigma head in apicinaceae, an enlarged drum-shaped stigma of which the sides and lower surface are the receptive zones. Coherent with the anthers or not. Claw 1. A narrow, stalk-like, basal portion of a petal, sepal or bract. 2. In Melaleuca, the united portion of a stamen bundle. Cleistogamous Having flowers which self-pollinate and never open fully or self-pollinate before opening. Compare chasmogamous. Climber a plant growing more or less erect by leaning on or twining around another structure for support, or by clinging with tendrils. Klein 
Aj, clinal a continuous morphological variation in form within a species or sometimes between two species. Clone a plant derived from the vegetative reproduction of a parent plant, with both plants having identical genetic constitutions. Coalescent Having plant parts fused or grown together to form a single unit. Cochleariform Concave and spoon-shaped Cochleate Coiled like a snail's shell Coenobium an arranged colony of algae that acts like a single organism. Conocyte A single cell with multiple nuclei, formed when nuclear division was not followed by cytokinesis. Calinchyma A specialized tissue consisting of living cells with unevenly thickened cellulose and pectin cell walls that performs a support function in organs such as leaves and young stems that are composed of primary plant tissues. Colliter A multicellular, glandular hair that usually produces a mucilaginous substance and is located on sepals, stipples, or petioles, or on nearby parts of stems, commonly found on plants in the order Gentianalis. Columella in flowering plants, the central axis of the cone or fruit, e.g. in calatris. Column 1. A structure extending above ovary and incorporating the style and stamens, gynostemium, e.g. in orchids. 2. In grasses, the lower, stouter, and usually twisted part of an on, distinct from the slender upper part or bristle. Columnar Shaped like a column. Commercial name A name often of no botanical standing and not governed by the ICNCP. The term generally applies to names such as trademark names, names covered by plant breeders' rights, patents and promotional names, which are often used to enhance the sale of a plant. Commissure The seam or face at which two carpels adhere. Community an ecological assemblage of plants that characteristically occur together. Compound Composed of several parts, e.g. a leaf with leaflets, a genetium with several carpels, or an inflorescence made up of smaller inflorescences. Compound palmate Having leaflets that radiate from a central point usually at the top of a petiole like spread out fingers radiating from the palm of a hand. Compressed Flattened lengthwise, either laterally from side to side or dorsally from front to back. Concolorous Having the same color throughout, uniformly colored. Conduplicate Arranged such that two sides of a flat surface are folded along the midline to face each other. See also Tyxis, Estivation, and Vernation. Cone a fruit, usually woody, ovoid to globular, including scales, bracts or bracteoles arranged around a central axis, e.g. in gymnosperms, especially conifers and casuarina. Confluorescence A rarely used term describing substantial differences between the overall structure of an inflorescence and that of its individual branches, e.g. the bottlebrush multiple flower head of members of the genus Callistman. Conate Fused to another organ or organs of the same kind, e.g. petals in a corolla tube. Compare adnate Connective The part of an anther that connects the anther cells. Connivant Coming into contact or converging. Conspecific Belonging to the same species. Contiguous Adjoining, touching, but not united. Contort Of sepals and petals a type of imbricate estivation in which one side of each segment overlaps one of the adjacent segments and the other side is overlapped by the other adjacent segment. See convolute Contorted Twisted out of the normal shape Convolute 1. 
referring to the arrangement of floral or foliar organs in a bud when each organ or segment has one edge overlapping the adjacent organ or segment, a form of imbricate arrangement, contort. 2. Of leaves, a type of vernation in which one leaf is rolled up inside another. 3. A type of vernation of two leaves at a node, in which one half of each leaf is exposed and the other half is wrapped inside the other leaf. Chordate Heart-shaped, with the notch lowermost, of the base of a leaf, like the notched part of a heart. Coriaceous Leathery, stiff and tough, but somewhat flexible. Corm a fleshy, swollen stem base, usually underground and functioning in the storage of food reserves, with buds naked or covered by very thin scales, a type of rootstock. Adjectives derived from corm include cormos and cormus. Corolla A collective term for the petals of a flower. Compare calyx Corona 1. In flowering plants, a ring of structures that may be united in a tube, arising from the corolla or perianth of a flower and standing between the perianth lobes and the stamens. The trumpet of a daffodil is a corona. 2. In grasses, a hardened ring of tissue surmounting the lemma in some species. Cortex Place cortexes, cortices in lichens, the skin or outer layer of thallus tissue that covers the medulla. Fruticus lichens have one cortex encircling the branches, even flattened, leaf-like forms. Folios lichens have different upper and lower cortices. Crustus, placidioid and squamulose lichens have an upper cortex but no lower cortex, and leprous lichens lack any cortex. Corticalis Growing on bark or on wood with the bark stripped off. Compare lignicolus Corum Adge. Corumbos an inflorescence with branches arising at different points but reaching about the same height, giving the flower cluster a flat-topped appearance. Costa A rib Costa palmate Having a definite costa midrib, unlike the typical palmate or fan leaf, but with the leaflets arranged radially as in a palmate leaf, Cotyledon The primary leaf or leaves of a plant embryo which upon germination develops into the seed leaf or the first set of leaves. Craspidodromus Pinnate venation in which the secondary veins terminate at the margins, often as teeth. Crateriform In the shape of a saucer or shallow cup, hemispherical or more shallow. Cremnophyte a plant adapted to growing on, especially hanging from, cliff faces or crevices. Compare chasmophyte Crenate Having blunt or rounded teeth, scalloped Crenulate Minutely scalloped Crisped Finely curled, as with the edges of leaves and petals Crystark cell a scleride which contains a druse and has the lignin deposited eccentrically on the cell wall to form a cup shape, or in cross section, a shape. Crown. See canopy. Cross. To make something interbreed, the act of hybridization. Cruciform. Cross shaped. Crustaceous. Hard, thin, and brittle. Crustus. Forming a closely applied surface layer or crust. Cryptogams A collective term for the lower plants, which produce spores and do not have stamens, ovaries or seeds, literally plants whose sexual reproductive organs are not conspicuous. Typically includes the ferns, bryophytes and algae, and sometimes fungi, including lichenized fungi. Compare phanerogam. Cuculit Hood-like or hooded, commonly referring to the shape of leaves or petals, e.g. Pelargonium cuculatum. Similarly derived terms include cuculiform and cucularis. Culm 
In grasses, sedges, rushes, and some other monocotyledons, an aerial stem bearing the inflorescence, strictly, from the base of the plant to the lowest involucral bract or base of the inflorescence. Cultigen A plant whose origin or selection is primarily due to intentional human activity. Cultivar A term derived from cultivated variety denoting an assemblage of cultivated plants clearly distinguished by one or more characters morphological, physiological, cytological, chemical or other, when reproduced sexually or asexually, the assemblage retains its distinguishing characters. A cultivar may arise in cultivation or be introduced from the wild. It is a variant that is of horticultural interest or value. Cultivar names are written with single quotation marks around them e.g. blue carpet or alba. All new names established after 1 January 1959 must be in common language that is, not in Latin but names established in Latin prior to this date are retained in Latin form. Cultivar epithet The defining part of a name that denominates a cultivar. Cultivars are designated by fancy, q, v, epithets appended either to the scientific name or to the common name of the taxon to which they belong, they are not italicized but placed in single quotation marks, for example Rubus nitidoides Merton Early. Merton Early is the cultivar epithet cuneate wedge-shaped, with straight sides converging at base cupule a cup-shaped structure composed of coalescent bracts, such as the cup of an acorn. See Calibium Cupular Shaped like a cupule Cupulate Bearing cupules Cupuliform Nearly hemispherical, shaped like a cupola or dome Cusp A pointed tip, hence cuspidate Cuspidate Tipped with a cusp, as with some leaves. Cuticle. A waterproofing layer covering the epidermis of aerial plant surfaces and composed of the polymers cutin, and or cutin and waxes. Cutting. An apical tip of shoot structure, root or leaf which is cut from a plant and used for vegetative propagation. Cyathium. Place cyathea an inflorescence of unisexual flowers surrounded by involucral bracts, especially the flowers of euphorbia. Cyathophyll The bract-like structure of a euphorbia on which the involucre sits, usually but not always occurring in twos. They may sometimes be brightly colored and confused with petals. Cylindrical Rod-like and two to three times as long as wide. Compare baculiform Sinoroid C. cardoid Semi Adj, samosa type of inflorescence in which the main axis and all lateral branches end in a flower each lateral may be repeatedly branched Cypsula A dry, one-seeded, indehiscent fruit formed from an inferior ovary Topic D. Deciduous. Dehissing and falling seasonally, as with bark, leaves, or petals. Compare persistent. Declinate. Curving downwards and then upwards at the tip. Often qualified, e.g. declinate ascendant. Decompound. Divided to more than one level, e.g. in bipinnate leaves, in which the leaflets of what otherwise would be a pinnate leaf are themselves pinnately divided. Decorticate To shed or peel off the outer bark of a tree. Decumbent Having branches growing horizontally along the ground but which are turned up at the ends. Decurrent Extending downwards beyond the point of insertion, e.g. when the base of a leaf or a fungal gill is prolonged downwards along the stem in a raised line or narrow wing. Decusant A synonym for decusate, the usage decusant is questionable and occurs rarely, probably as an error. The formally correct usage is decusate 
decussate opposite with successive pairs born at right angles to the last, generally applied to the arrangement of leaves definite of a constant number, e.g. twice as many stamens as the petals or sepals or less, or an inflorescence ending in a flower or an aborted floral bud, typically a samos inflorescence. Compare indefinite deflexed bent downwards. Compare inflexed dehiscent Breaking open at maturity to release contents, refers e.g. to the opening of fruits to release seeds, of anthers to release pollen and of sporangia to release spores. Compare indehiscent deltoid shaped like the uppercase Greek letter delta, i.e. like a more or less equilateral triangle dendroid tree-like, branching like a tree dentate Toothed, especially in reference to leaf margins. Denticulate. Finely toothed, a diminutive form of dentate. Deserticulus. Inhabiting a desert. Determinate. Limited, usually in growth. Compare indeterminate. Diaspor. A reproductive part of a plant, adapted for dispersal and for establishing new plants, a disseminule such as a seed, or specialized buds, branches, inflorescences or fruits. Dicasium A samos inflorescence with all branches below the terminal flower in regular opposite pairs. Compare monocasium Dichlamidius Perianth is divided into separate calyx and corolla. Compare to homochlamydias, in which they are indistinguishable dichotomous forking into two equal branches. This may result from an equal division of the growing tip, or may be sympodial, in which the growing tip is aborted and replaced. Typically refers to mode of branch growth, as in aloidendron dichotomum, but also to other organs, such as the venation patterns on leaves, the thorns of various species of carissa, which morphologically are branches, and thalli or hyphae of various algae and fungi. Dicotyledon A flowering plant whose embryo has two rarely more cotyledons seed leaves common usage, dicot, compare monocotyledon common usage, monocot. Digitate With segments spreading from a common center, like the fingers of a hand, see also palmate, pomidisect. Dimorphic Occurring in two different forms in respect to shape and or size, for example of stamens, fronds, leaves. See also monomorphic having a single form and polymorphic many forms. Dioecious A vascular plants, when male and female reproductive structures develop on different individuals, cf. monoecious. Dioecious Of bryophyte gametophytes, when male and female reproductive structures develop on different individuals. Cf. Monoecious Diploid with two full sets of chromosomes in the nucleus of a sporophyte cell, that is one set from each of the parental gametes. This is expressed symbolically as 2n, where n equals the number of chromosomes in the haploid gametes. Diplostamenous Stamens arranged in two whorls, with the outer whorl alternating with the petals, while the inner whorl is opposite the petals. Compare obdiplostamenous, haplostamenous. Disc, disc A plate or ring of structures derived from the receptacle, and occurring between whorls of floral parts. In some groups, especially sapindales, the nectary is in the form of a prominent disc. In daisies, the central part of the capitulum is a disc, hence flowers born there are called disc flowers or florets. Discoid Resembling a disc or plate, having both thickness and parallel faces and with a rounded margin. Also used to describe the flower head of Asteraceae where there are no ray florets, but only disc florets. Discolorous Of leaves, with upper and lower surfaces of a different color. Disjunct 
occurring in widely separated geographic areas, distinctly separate, applies to a discontinuous range in which one or more populations are separated from other potentially interbreeding populations far enough as to preclude gene flow between them. Dissected Deeply divided, cut into many segments. Decepament a partition or septum in a plant part, usually referring to septa between locule of a capsule or other fruits with multiple partitions. Distal Remote from the point of origin or attachment, the free end. Compare proximal Distitious Arranged in two opposite rows and hence in the same plane. Distinct Separate or free, not united. Distyly The condition in which the flowers of a species occur in two forms that differ only by the length of the style and stamens, and flowers of only one of these forms appear on any one plant. See, heterostyly Diurnal Of the day, occurring or opening in the daytime Divaricate Widespreading Divergent Spreading in different directions, generally upward. Division A taxonomic rank below kingdom in the standard taxonomic hierarchy, the approximate botanical equivalent of the term phylum, which is used for animals and other kingdoms. Domatia Sing, domatium any hollow structure formed by a plant that is inhabited by animals such as ants or mites. Dorsal at the rear or back, facing away from the axis abaxial in a lateral organ or away from the substrate in a prostrate plant. Dorsifixed Attached at or by the back, e.g. anthers on a filament. Dorsiventral Having structurally and visibly different upper and lower surfaces, e.g. some leaves. Cf. bilateral. Also cf. isobilateral. Drip tip A long, narrow, caudate or acuminate extension at the tip of a leaf or leaflet, commonly an adaptation to rainy conditions, as it promotes shedding of water by its dripping from the narrow tip. Droop A type of succulent fruit formed from one carpel, the single seed is enclosed by a stony layer of the fruit wall, e.g. in peaches and olives. Also called a kernel. Drooplet a small droop formed from one of the carpels in an apocarpus flower. Drooplets usually form a compound fruit, as in rubus, but they may become widely separated, as in acne. Drus A globular mass of calcium oxalate crystals, usually with the crystals radiating from an organic core. Topic. E. E. A suffix added to the stem of a generic name to form the name of a tribe, e.g. asteristeriae. Abracteate. Lacking bracts. Synonymous with ebracteolate. Ecological amplitude. The range of environmental conditions in which an organism can survive. Adaphic. Influenced by or of the soil. A liosome. An oily body attached to the seed. Elephophily. A form of pollination whereby pollen or spores are distributed by the feet of elephants, as in Rafflesia arnoldi. Ellipsoid. A three-dimensional shape, elliptical in all sections through the long axis. Elliptical, elliptic. Planar, shaped like a flattened circle, symmetrical about both the long and the short axis, tapering equally both to the tip and the base, oval. Emarginate Notched at the apex notch usually broad and shallow. Embryo The young plant contained by a seed prior to germination. Emergent a plant taller than the surrounding vegetation or, for a water-based plant, one whose leaves and flowers are above the water. Enantiostyly 
the condition in which the genetium protrudes laterally, to the right dextrostyle or to the left sinistrostyle of the andricium, example, senna. Endemic Having a natural distribution restricted to a particular geographic region. Compare native Endocarp the innermost layer of the wall of a fruit, in a droop, the stony layer surrounding the seed. Endodermis The innermost layer of the cortex of vascular plant roots, also present in the stems of pteridophytes. The radial walls are impregnated with suberin to form a permeability barrier known as the Casparian strip. Endofloidal See endofloic Endofloic of crustus lichens, having the thallus growing within rather than on the bark of trees. Compare epifloetal or corticalis growing on the surface wood or bark and endolithic growing within rock, not wood. Endosperm 1. Angiosperms a nutritive tissue surrounding the embryo of the seed, usually triploid, originating from the fusion of both polar nuclei with one gamete after the fertilization of the egg. 2. Gymnosperms the prothallium within the embryo sac. Endospori The production of spores that germinate into a reduced multicellular gametophyte contained within the spore wall. Compare exospori Ensiform Shaped like the blade of a sword. Entire 1. Not divided. 2. Of a margin having a smooth margin, not lobed or toothed, though possibly wavy or scalloped. Entomophily. A form of pollination whereby pollen or spores are distributed by insects. Ephemeral. Short-lived. See also caducus. Epicalyx. An involucre resembling an outer calyx, e.g. as in hibiscus. Epicarp. The outer layer of the wall of a fruit, i.e. the skin. Epicormic Used to refer to buds, shoots or flowers developing from the old wood of trees, especially after injury or fire. Epicotyl The part of the plant axis or stem between the cotyledonary node and the first foliage leaves Epicuticular wax a layer of crystalline or amorphous wax deposited on the surface of the cuticle. Epidermis An organ's outermost layer of cells, usually only one cell thick. Epigenous Born on the ovary, describes floral parts when attached above the level of the ovary and arising from tissue fused to the ovary wall. Compare hypogenous and perigenous. Epilithic Growing on stone. Compare lithophytic, a plant growing on stone. Epinecral Dead tissue necral, above the surface of the cortex of a lichen. Epipetalus Of stamens that are attached to the petals. Epifloetal Growing on the surface of bark. Compare endofloetal growing inside, not on, the bark and epilithic growing on rock, not bark. Epiphyte A plant growing on another plant without deriving nourishment from it in other words, not a parasitic plant. Compare parasite. Often loosely and incorrectly applied to plants that are not terrestrial they may grow on various inorganic or organic surfaces, and often to orchids, which are rock-dwelling and therefore strictly lithophytic. Epiphytic Living on the surface of a plant. Compare lithophytic epitepalus of stamens that are attached to the tepals epithet the adjectival component in a binomial, the final word or combination of words in a name of more than one word other than a term denoting rank that denominates an individual taxon epizuchery a type of seed dispersal that occurs when seeds physically adhere to the outside of vertebrate animal bodies. Eprunos Not prunos. Equitant Of a leaf folded lengthwise and clasping another leaf. Erect 
upright, more or less perpendicular to the ground or point of attachment. Compare patent spreading. Erecto patent, between erect and patent. Ericoid Having leaves like those of the European heaths Erica, small and sharply pointed. Eros Of a margin irregular as though nibbled or worn away. Even pinnate Having an even number of leaflets in a compound leaf. Synonymous with peripinate. Evergreen Not deciduous, having leaves all year. X in nomenclature, indicating that the preceding author proposed the name but did not legitimately publish it, and that the succeeding author referred to the first author when legitimately publishing the name. See author citation, botany, exalbuminous, in seeds of a given species, having no endosperm, i.e. no albumin, as in e.g. Fabaceae and Combrataceae, exocarp, the outer layer of the pericarp, often the skin of fleshy fruits. Exospory. The production of spores that germinate into free-living multicellular gametophytes. Compare endospory. Exotesta. The outer layer of the testa seed coat. It is derived from the outer integument of the ovule. Exotic. Not native, introduced from another region or country. Exerted. Projected beyond, e.g. stamens beyond the corolla tube. Extipulate. Lacking stipples. Extrastaminal. Outside the stamens or andrecium, usually referring to the location of a nectary disc. Extrors. Of anther locules, opening towards the outside of the flower. Compare intrors and latrors. Topic F. F1 hybrid. A single cross, a plant breeding term for the result of a repeatable cross between two purebred lines. F2 hybrid. A plant breeding term for the result of a plant arising from a cross between two F1 hybrids, may also refer to self-pollination in a population of F1 hybrids. Fabiform Shaped like a kidney bean Facultative Of parasites, optional. Compare obligate Falcate Curved like the blade of a scythe Family a taxonomic group of one or more genera with features and or ancestry in common, the term for the principal rank between order and genus. Farinaceous Powderiness that is mealy Fascicle Adj. Fasciculate a cluster, e.g. a tuft of leaves all arising from the same node. Fasciculate Branching in clusters like a bundle of sticks or needles, having fascicles Faviolate Honeycombed, having regular, angled pits. Compare foveolate Focal Pertaining to the fossus, located in the throat of a calyx or corolla Fossus The throat of a calyx or corolla, the conspicuously widened portion between the mouth and the apex of the tube. In Borogenaceae, the site of distinctive appendages Felted Covered with very dense, interlocked and matted hairs with the appearance or texture of felt or woolen cloth Female flower See pistillate flower Fenestrate Having translucent areas. See also perforate, with holes Ferruginous Ruddy or rust-colored Fertile Capable of producing fruit, of flowers when they produce seed or of anthers containing pollen Fertilization The union of male and female gametes during sexual reproduction Fiber 1. A fiber cell 2. Any flexible, strong, stringy, and very elongate structure Fiber cell 
a type of cell that is found in sclerenchyma, it is much elongated and dies soon after an extensive modification of its cell wall. The cell wall is usually thickly lignified, but is sometimes gelatinous. Filament 1. Stalk of a stamen 2. Thread, one or a few cells thick Filamentous Consisting of filaments or fibers, hair-like Filiform Thread-like E.g. stamen filaments, or leaf shapes Fimbria Slender hair-like process, plural, fimbriae Fimbriate Fringed Fissure a split or crack, often referring to fissured bark, a line or opening of dehiscence. Fistule A tube-shaped cavity. Fistulose Hollow, usually applied to a tube-shaped cavity, as in a reed. Flabellate Fan-shaped Flaxid Limp, tending to wilt. Compare turgid Flexistyle Depending on the degree of maturation of the stamens, the style moves up or down style or ana hyperflexisal. Flexuous, flexuous. Bent alternately in different directions, zigzag. Flocos. Having a soft and woolly covering of hairs. Flora. 1. All the plants growing in a certain region or country. 2. An enumeration of them, generally with a guide to their identification e.g. the present volume, the flora of Victoria, the flora of New South Wales and so on. In this case, flora is written with a capital F. Floral envelope. See perianth. Floral leaves. The upper leaves at the base of the flowering branches. Floral diagram. A graphical means to describe flower structure, usually a schematic cross-section through a young flower. Floral formula A description of flower structure using numbers, letters and various symbols. Floral tube An imprecise term sometimes used as a synonym of hypanthium or of corolla tube or of calyx tube. Floret a small flower, usually referring to the individual true flowers clustered within an inflorescence, particularly those of the daisy and grass families. Flower The sexual reproductive structure of the angiosperms, typically with a genetium, andricium, perianth and an axis. Foliate Preceded by a number, having a certain number of leaflets, for example, three foliate. Having three leaflets. Folliculus. A growth habit of certain lichens, algae, and fungi that prefer to grow on the leaves of vascular plants. Follicle. A dry fruit formed from one carpal, splitting along a single suture, to which the seeds are attached. Compare pod of legume. Foliole. A small leaf like appendage on the front or back. Folios Leaf-like, flattened like a leaf Forb Any non-woody flowering plant that is not a grass, sedge or rush Forest Vegetation dominated by trees with single trunks including closely arranged trees with or without an understory of shrubs and herbs Forma in common usage, form a taxonomic category subordinate to species and within the taxonomic hierarchy, below variety varietas, and usually differentiated by a minor character. Foveolate Having regular tiny pits. Compare faveolate. Free Not united with other organs of the same type, not attached at one end. Free central of placentation, ovules attached to a free-standing column in the center of a unilocular ovary. Frond A leaf of a fern, cycad or palm. Frutescent Shrub-like or becoming shrub-like. Fruticus 
shrubby, having the branching character of a shrub. Fruit A seed-bearing structure present in all angiosperms, formed from the mature ovary and sometimes associated floral parts upon fertilization. Fugacious Disappearing, falling off, or withering. Compare persistent and caducus. Funicle funiculus, The stalk of an ovule. Funnel form. Having a form gradually widening from the base to apex, funnel-shaped. Furcate. Forked, usually applied to a terminal division, with two long lobes. Fused. Joined together. Fusiform. Rod-shaped and narrowing gradually from the middle towards each end, spindle-shaped. Topic G. Galbulus. In gymnosperms, a fleshy cone, megastrobilus, chiefly relates to those borne by junipers and cypresses, and often mistakenly called berries. Gamete. A cell or nucleus that fuses with another of the opposite sex during sexual reproduction. Gametophyte. The haploid multicellular phase in the alternation of generations of plants and algae that bears gametes. In bryophytes the gametophyte is the dominant vegetative phase, in ferns and their allies it is a small free-living plant known as the prothallus, in gymnosperms and angiosperms the gametophytes are reduced to microscopic structures dependent on the sporophyte, male gametophytes contained in pollen grains and females contained within the ovules. Gene pool The complete range of genetic variation found within a population Genus Place Genera a group of one or more hashtag species, species with features or ancestry or both in common. Genus is the principal category of taxa intermediate in rank between family and species in the standard nomenclatural hierarchy. Generic name The name of a taxonomic genus, such as acacia and eucalyptus. Genotype the genetic makeup of an individual. Geophilus Growing or rooting in the ground. Germination 1. Of seeds, describing the complex sequence of physiological and structural changes that occur from resting to growth stage. 2. Of a pollen grain, production of a pollen tube when contacting a stigma receptive to it. 3. Of a spore of fungi, bacterium, change of state, from resting to vegetative. Gibbous, gibbous Of part of an organ, swollen, usually with a pouch-like enlargement at the base. Glabrescent Becoming glabrous, almost glabrous. Glabrous 1. Lacking surface ornamentation such as hairs, scales or bristles, smooth. 2. In lichenology, having no indumentum. Gland. A secretory structure within or on the surface of a plant. Glandular hair. A hair tipped with a gland. Glaucus. Having a whitish bloom, blue-green in color, e.g. the surface of the young leaves of many eucalypts. Globose. Also globular, roughly spherical. See also subglobose Globulose Approximately spherical Glocid A tiny barbed hair or bristle, e.g. the fine hairs in Apuntia Glooms Bracts subtending the florets of a sedge, or similar plant, in grasses forming the lowermost organs of a spikelet there are usually two but one is sometimes reduced, or rarely, both are absent Glutinous Sticky Graft 1. The artificial union of plant parts. 2. A plant shoot suitable for grafting, loosely, a scion, sucker or branch. Graft chimera sometimes graft hybrid. 
A taxon whose members consist of tissue from two or more different plants in intimate association originated by grafting. The addition sign plus is used to indicate a graft chimera either as a part of a formula e.g. Critigus monogena plus Mespolis germanica or in front of an abbreviated name e.g. plus Critigomspilus dardari. The nomenclature of graft hybrids is governed by the International Code of Nomenclature for Cultivated Plants Graminoid Granular Of a surface covered with small rounded protuberances Grass A plant of the family Poaceae Grassland Low vegetation dominated by grasses Groundcover 1. Dense vegetation that covers the ground. 2. A term applied to describe a plant that covers the soil surface so densely that it smothers all beneath it. Group A formal category equivalent to or below the rank of genus which distinguishes an assemblage of two or more cultivars within a species or hybrid. Plants derived from a hybrid in which one or more of the parent species is not known or is of uncertain origin. A range of cultivated plants of a species or hybrid which may exhibit variation but share one or more characters, which makes it worth distinguishing them as a unit. Guard cell Each of two cells surrounding the stoma which control gas exchange between the apoplast of the plant and the external environment. Guttate Having droplet-shaped spots. Compare punctate and maculate. Guttation The secretion of liquid water from uninjured plant parts. See hydathode Guttalate Having or appearing to be spotted with oil droplets, of spores, having oil droplets inside. Gymnosperm a seed-bearing plant with unenclosed ovules born on the surface of a sporophyll. Gymnosperms are among the oldest clades of vascular plants, and today are represented by approximately 1,000 extant species worldwide, including, among others, conifers, ginkgo, genetum and cycads. Compare angiosperm. Gynobasic of a style, arising near the base of the genetium, e.g. between the lobes of the ovary. Gynodioecious of a species, with some plants bearing only bisexual flowers and others bearing only female flowers. Gynomonoecious of a species, with bisexual flowers and female flowers on the same plant. Genetium the collective term for the female parts of a flower or for the carpels of a flower, whether united or free. Compare andricium. Abbreviation, G for instance, G indicates a superior ovary, G five indicates having five fused carpels. Gynophore A stalk supporting the genetium and situated above the level of insertion of the other floral parts. Topic. H Habit The general external appearance of a plant, including size, shape, texture and orientation. Habitat The place where a plant lives, the environmental conditions of its home. Hafter a flat attachment that forms when the thallus of a fruticus or folios lichens comes in contact with a substrate, different from resines and hapters. Hair A single elongated cell or row of cells born on the surface of an organ. Half inferior Of ovary, partly below and partly above the level of attachment of the other floral parts. Compare inferior, superior. Halinate Having a transparent coating, or being of a spore's outer layer. Halophyte A plant adapted to living in highly saline habitats, a plant that accumulates high concentrations of salt in its tissues. Hand pollination The controlled act of pollination that excludes the possibility of open pollination. Haploid 
Having one set of chromosomes, e.g. the complement of chromosomes in each of the cells of the gametophyte, the nucleus of a gamete and the spores. This is expressed symbolically as n, where n equals the gametic number of chromosomes. Compare diploid, triploid, and tetraploid haplostamenis having a single series of stamens equal in number to the proper number of petals, and alternating with them. Compare diplostamenis, obdiplostamenis. Hapter An attachment that may form when a folio's lichen thallus comes in contact with a substrate. Hastate Triangular in outline, the basal lobes pointing outwards, so that the base appears truncate, may refer only to the base of a leaf with such lobes. Compare sagittate which refers to basal lobes pointing backwards. Haustorium In parasitic plants, a structure developed for penetrating the host's tissues. Head See capitulum, a pseudentheum. Heathland Vegetation dominated by small shrubs which usually have aracoid leaves. Helicoid Coiled, of a samos inflorescence, when the branching is repeatedly on the same side the apex is often recurved. Compare scorpioid. Hemi-legume A legume fruit in which the seed or seeds and one valve of the pod are dispersed as a unit. The valve catches the wind and blows away with the seeds, as in Acacia tenufolia, Peltigine paniculata. Herb Any vascular plant that does not develop a woody stem at any point during its life cycle, e.g. a violet. Herbaceous Not woody, usually green and soft in texture. Herbarium Place herbaria a collection of preserved, usually pressed and dried, plant material used for identification and comparison, also a building in which such collections are stored. Hermaphrodite A synonym of bisexual. Heteroblastic Having parts, especially leaves, that are distinctly different between the juvenile and adult stages. Heteromorphic Having two or more distinct morphologies, e.g. of different size and shape. Heterospory The production of spores of two different sizes small and large by the sporophytes of land plants. Heterostyly The condition of a species having flowers with different style and stamen lengths, but with all the flowers of any one plant being identical. C. Distyly Hylum The scar on a seed coat where it separates from its stalk funicle. Hip The fruit of a rose plant. Hippocrepiform Horseshoe-shaped Hirsute Bearing coarse, rough, longish hairs. See indumentum Hispid Bearing long, erect, rigid hairs or bristles, harsh to touch. Hori Covered with a grayish to whitish layer of very short, closely interwoven hairs, giving a frosted appearance. Holotype A type chosen by the author of a name. Compare lectotype Homochlamydias Perianth not divided into calyx and corolla. Compare dichlamydias Hort Never capitalized of gardens, an author citation used in two ways. As a name misapplied by gardeners. 2. As an invalid name derived from horticultural writings of confused authorship. Hyalin. Translucent, usually delicately membranous and colorless. Hybrid. A plant produced by the crossing of parents belonging to two different named groups, e.g. genera, species, varieties, subspecies, forma and so on, i.e. the progeny resulting within and between two different plants. An F1 hybrid is the primary product of such a cross. An F2 hybrid is a plant arising from a cross between two F1 hybrids or from the self-pollination of an F1 hybrid. Hybrid formula 
The names of the parents of a hybrid joined by a multiplication sign, e.g. Cytosis ardenoi times C. pergens. Hydrophily A form of pollination whereby pollen is distributed by the flow of waters. Hypenthium A tube or cup-like structure in a flower that includes the bases of sepals, petals, and stamens, and may or may not be connected adnate to the ovary. Hyperresupinate In botany, describing leaves or flowers that are in the usual position, but are born on a petiole or pedicel, respectively, that is twisted 360 degrees. The term is used to describe organs, such as orchid flowers, that are usually resupinate. Compare hashtag resupinate. Hypocarpium an enlarged fleshy structure that forms below the fruit, from the receptacle or hypenthium. Hypocotyl Of an embryo or seedling, the part of the plant axis below the cotyledon and node, but above the root. It marks the transition from root to stem development. Hippocrateriform See salverform Hypogenous Born below the ovary, used to describe floral parts inserted below the ovary's level of insertion. Compare epigenous, periginous. Hypothalus The hypothalus is the outgrowth of hyphae from under the margin of the thallus of a crustus lichens, connecting the island-like areoles into a single lichen. Hysteranthus A type of growth in which new leaves appear after flowering. Also spelled hysteranthus. Compare proteranthus and synanthus. Topic I. Idioblast. A cell, especially of a leaf, differing markedly from surrounding cells. They often synthesize specialized products such as crystals. Illegitimate name. Nomen illeg. A name not abiding by the rules of the botanical codes, e.g. later homonyms, cultivars that have been Latinized after 1 January 1959, cultivar names with more than 10 syllables or 30 letters, cultivar names that use confusing names of other plants, e.g. camellia rose. Imbricate Overlapping each other, of perianth parts, edges overlapping in the bud the convoluted arrangement is a special form of imbrication. Dormant buds of many deciduous species are imbricately covered with protective catafals. Imperipinate A pinnate leaf with an odd number of pinnae terminated by a single leaflet. Compare peripinate in in nomenclature, where the preceding author published the name in an article or book, authored or edited by the succeeding author. Inae The suffix added to the stem of a generic name to form the name of a subtribe, for instance, corydalini from corydalus plus inae. Inbreeding the production of offspring between closely related parents leading to a high degree of similarity. Self-fertilization is the most intense form of inbreeding. Inserti sedis Of unknown taxonomic affinity, relationships obscure. Incised Cut deeply and usually unevenly a condition intermediate between toothed and lobed. Included Enclosed, not protruding, e.g. stamens within the corolla. Incurved Bent or curved inwards, of leaf margins, when curved towards the adaxial side. Ind An abbreviation of Latin inedita, an unpublished work. Used to indicate that a botanical name appeared only in a manuscript that was not published, so the name is invalid. Indefinite Variable in number, numerous, e.g. more than twice as many stamens as petals or sepals, or when an inflorescence is not terminated by a flower and continues growing. Compare definite. Indehiscent. Not opening in any definite manner at maturity, usually referring to fruit. Contrast with dehiscent. Indeterminate. Unlimited, usually in growth. Indigenous. 
native to the area, not introduced, and not necessarily confined to the region discussed or present throughout it hardly distinct from native but usually applied to a smaller area. For example, the Kutamundra wattle is native to Australia but indigenous to the Kutamundra region of southern New South Wales. Compare endemic Indimentum a collective term for a surface covering of any kind of trichomes, e.g. hairs, scales. Induplicate. Folded upwards, or folded with the two adaxial surfaces together. Indusium. 1. A membrane covering the sporangia of some ferns. 2. A cup enclosing the stigma in goodeniaceae. Inferior of an ovary, at least partly below the level of attachment of other floral parts. Compare superior Inflated Swollen, like a bladder Inflexed Bent sharply upwards or forwards. Compare deflexed Inflorescence Several flowers closely grouped together to form an efficient structured unit, the grouping or arrangement of flowers on a plant Infraspecific denotes taxonomic ranks below species level, for example subspecies Infrageneric denoting taxonomic ranks below the genus level, for example, subgenera, sections, and series Infructescence the grouping or arrangement of fruits on a plant. Wicked, infundibular infundibuliform Funnel-shaped, for example in the corolla of a flower. Inrolled. Rolled inwards. Insectivorous. Catching, and drawing nutriment from, insects. Insertion, point of. The point at which one organ or structure, such as a leaf, is joined to the structure which bears it, such as a stem. Inserted. Growing out from. Integument. In general, any covering, but especially the covering of an ovule. Intercalary E.g. of growth occurring between the apex and the base of an organ. Intercalary meristem A meristem located between the apex and the base of an organ. Interjugary glands In pinnate leaves, glands occurring along the leaf rotches between the pinnae occurring below the single, and often slightly larger, gland at or just below the insertion of the pinnae. Compare jugary. Internode. The portion of a stem between two nodes. Interpetiolar. Of stipples, between the petioles of opposite leaves, e.g. in rubiaceae. Intramarginal. Inside but close to the margin, for example a vein in a leaf. Intrastaminal. Inside the stamens or andricium, usually referring to the location of a nectary disc. Introrse of anther locules, with opening towards the center of flower at least in bud. Compare extrorse, latrorse, invalid. Use of names not validly published according to the code, i.e. they are not strictly names in the sense of the International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. Involucre A structure surrounding or supporting, usually a head of flowers. In Asteraceae, it is the group of filaries bracts surrounding the inflorescence before opening, then supporting the cup-like receptacle on which the head of flowers sits. In Euphorbiaceae it is the cup-like structure that holds the nectar glands, nectar, and head of flowers, and sits above the bract-like cyathophyll structure. Involucres occur in Marchantiophyta, cycads, fungi, and many other groups. Involute Rolled inwards, for example when the margins of a leaf are rolled towards the adaxial usually upper surface. Compare revolute Iridescent Having a reflective colored sheen produced by structural coloration, as in the speculum of the mirror orchid a free speculum. Irregular not able to be divided into two equal halves through any vertical plane. See also asymmetrical.
Compare zygomorphic, actinomorphic, and regular. Isidium Place Isidia a warty of club-like structure in some lichens that breaks off and forms new lichens without sexual reproduction. Isidia are dispersed by mechanical means, compared to serratia, which are dispersed by wind. Isobifacial of flat structures, especially leaves having both surfaces similar, usually referring to cell types or to the number and distribution of stomata. Isomerous having an equal number of parts in the whorls. Isotomic having branches of equal diameter. Compare an isotomic. Topic J. Joint A node or junction of two parts, articulation Jugary Associated with a jugum or something yoke-like, see for example jugary gland Jugary gland A gland occurring on the rotches of a pinnate or bipinnate leaf on a jugum, the junction or attachment of pairs of pinnae or pinnules, as in some acacia species. Compare interjugary Jugate Yoke-like, describing a structure of paired items joined together as in a jugum or something yoke-like, such as some leaves and fruit. Jugum Applied to various yoke-like organs, usually in the sense of their being paired, such as a pair of pinnae on a rotches. Juvenile leaves Leaves formed on a young plant, typically differing from the adult leaves in form. Topic K K K plus K In lichenology, K is the abbreviation for the outcome of a test in which a 10% solution of potassium hydroxide Co. Hence, K is placed on lichen tissues. Color change is noted by K for none, and K plus for a yellow to red or purple color. Keel Adge, keeled a prominent longitudinal ridge like the keel of a boat, e.g. the structure of the corolla formed by the fusion of the lower edge of the two abaxial anterior petals of flowers in the Fabaceae. Kernel See droop Key innovation a novel phenotypic trait that allows subsequent evolutionary radiation and success of a taxonomic group. Kingdom The highest generally employed category of the taxonomic hierarchy, above that of division phylum. The plant kingdom includes vascular plants, bryophytes and green algae and is also known as the clade viridiplantae. Klausenfrucht Clausen or Klausenfrucht German is a special type of fruits in Lamiaceae and Boraginaceae. A dry, dehiscent fruit formed from a superior ovary with axil or basal placentation, with an adherent calyx, from more than one carpal and usually breaking apart into one-seeded units by separating each carpal by false septa. One unit is a half carpal, mostly there are four units, seeds. English therms are aromacarp, schizocarp, maricarp or nutlets. Topic L Labellum Lip, one of three or five petals which is usually different from the others, e.g. in Orchidaceae, Zingiberaceae, Canaceae and Stylidaceae. Labiate Lipped, where a corolla is divided into two parts, called an upper and lower lip, the two resembling an open mouth with lips. Lacerate Jagged, as if torn. Licinia In folios lichens, a linear to elongate lobe, usually arising from or at the end of a larger lobe. Liciniate of lobes, with ends irregularly divided into deeply divided, narrow, pointed segments, of margins, deeply divided into pointed segments in an irregular manner. Lacuna An empty space, hole, cavity, pit, depression, or discontinuity. Lamella 
a thin, plate-like layer. Plural lamellae, adjective lamellate, composed of an assemblage of many layers. Lamina The blade of a leaf or the expanded upper part of a petal, sepal or bract. Laminal Of, or pertaining to, the upper surface, such as the cortex of a lichen. Lanceolate Longer than broad, narrowly ovate, broadest in the lower half and tapering to the tip, like a lance or spear head, sometimes, and incorrectly, used to mean narrowly elliptic. Lateral Attached to the side of an organ, e.g. leaves on a stem. Latex A milky fluid that exudes from such plants such as spurges, figs and dandelions. Laticiferous Latex bearing, producing a milky juice. Latrorse A type of anther dehiscence in which the anthers open laterally toward adjacent anthers, cf. introrse, extrorse. Loroid Resembling loris, the laurel genus, particularly its leaves Lax Loose, not compact. Of bundles of hyphae and lichens, not stiff and not adglutinate. Leaf An outgrowth of a stem, usually flat and green, its main function is food manufacture by photosynthesis. Abbreviation, LVS Leaf gap a parenchymatous area in the steel above distal to a leaf trace. Leaf scar. A healing layer forming on the stem where the leaf has fallen off. Leaf trace. A vascular bundle connecting the steel to a leaf. Leaflets. The ultimate segments of a compound leaf. Laconurine. Of lichens, having apothecia with rims of tissue similar to the tissue of the thallus, as in the genus Lechinora. Legume 1. A fruit characteristic of the family Fabaceae, formed from one carpal and either dehiscent along both sides, or indehiscent. 2. A crop species in the family Fabaceae. 3. A plant of the family Fabaceae. Lemma the lower of two bracts enclosing a grass flower. Lenticel Typically lens-shaped lenticular porous tissue in bark with large intercellular spaces that allows direct exchange of gases between the internal tissues and atmosphere through the bark. Lenticular 1. Lens-shaped 2. Covered in lenticels Lepidote covered with small scales. Leprous Powdery Liana A woody climbing plant, rooted in the ground Liana is also used. Lian A woody climbing plant, rooted in the ground. See also Liana Lichenicolus Growing on or in lichens, often but not necessarily as parasites Ligneous Having hard lignified tissues or woody parts, woody. Lignum. Dead wood, typically in the context of a substrate for lichens. Ligniculus. Growing on wood tissue after bark has fallen or been stripped off compared to corticulus. Lignotuber. A woody swelling of the stem below or just above the ground, contains adventitious buds from which new shoots can develop, e.g. after fire. Ligulate 1. Bearing a ligule 2. Strap-shaped Ligule 1. Small membranous appendage on the top of the sheath of grass leaves 2. A minute adaxial appendage near the base of a leaf, e.g. in Selaginella. 3. Extended, strap-like corolla of some daisy florets. Linea, line, British line, Paris line. Various pre-metric units somewhat larger than 2 mm, used in botany into the 20th century. C line unit and Paris line. Linear. Very narrow in relation to its length, with the sides mostly parallel. See leaf shape. Lithophytic 
a plant growing on rocks, an epilithic plant. Lobe Part of a leaf or other organ, often rounded, formed by incisions to about halfway to the midrib. Loculicidal Of a fruit, when it dehisces through the centers of loculi. Compare septicidal Locule A chamber or cavity containing seeds within an ovary, pollen within an anther or spores in a sporangium. Lodicule one of two or three minute organs at the base of the ovary of a grass flower, representing parts of a strongly reduced perianth. Lomentum A pod-like indehiscent fruit that develops constrictions between the segments and at maturity breaks into one-seeded segments. Longicidal Anthers opening lengthwise by longitudinal slits. Compare, poricidal Lunate Crescent-shaped Lumen The cavity bounded by a plant cell wall Lyrate Lyre-shaped, deeply lobed, with a large terminal lobe and smaller lateral ones. Topic M Maculate Spotted, marked with spots Male flower See staminate flower Malaysia A biogeographic region comprising Malaysia, Indonesia, New Guinea, and the Philippines Mali Growth habit in which several woody stems arise separately from a lignotuber, a plant with such a growth habit, e.g. many eucalyptus species, vegetation characterized by such plants. Mangrove A shrub or small tree growing in salt or brackish water, usually characterized by pneumatophores. Tropical coastal vegetation characterized by such species. Margin the edge, as in the edge of a leaf blade. Marginal Occurring at or very close to the margin. Marsh A waterlogged area, swamp. Mast Edible fruit and nuts produced by woody species of plants, i.e. acorns and beechmast, that wildlife species and some domestic animals consume. Mealy Covered with coarse, flory powder. Medulla 1. In a lichen, the typically indifferentiated tissue underneath the cortex of the thallus, or between the upper and lower cortex if both are present. The medulla is analogous to the tissues underneath the epidermis skin of a leaf. The uppermost region commonly contains most of the photobionts. 2. Pith. See also medullary rays in wood. Megasporangium The larger of two kinds of sporangium produced by heterosporous plants, producing large spores that contain the female gametophytes. Compare microsporangium Megaspore The larger of two kinds of spores produced by a heterosporous plant, giving rise to the female gametophyte. Compare microspore Megasporophyll In heterosporous plants, a modified leaf bearing one or more megasporangia. Compare microsporophyll Megastrobilis The larger of two kinds of cones or strobili produced by gymnosperms, being female and producing the seeds. Compare microstrobilis Membranous Thin, translucent and flexible, seldom green. Maricarp One segment of a fruit a schizocarp, that splits at maturity into units derived from the individual carpels, or a carpel, usually one seeded, released by the breakup at maturity of a fruit formed from two or more joined carpels. Meristem An actively dividing tissue. Mesic Moist, avoiding both extremes of drought and wet, pertaining to conditions of moderate moisture or water supply, applied to organisms vegetation occupying moist habitats. Mesocarp 
the fleshy portion of the wall of a succulent fruit inside the skin and outside the stony layer if any, surrounding the seeds, sarcocarp mesomorphic soft and with little fibrous tissue, but not succulent mesophyll 1. Mesophyll tissue, photosynthetic tissue of a leaf, the central tissues between the upper and lower epidermis. 2. In ecology, the blade of a leaf or leaflet that has a surface area 4,500 to 18,225 square millimeters, a plant, or vegetation, that has mesophyll sized leaves. Mesophyllus a vegetation of moist habitats and having mostly large and soft leaves. Mesophyte A plant thriving under intermediate environmental conditions of moderate moisture and temperature, without major seasonal fluctuations. Micropyle Opening at apex of ovule. Microsporangium the smaller of two kinds of sporangium produced by a heterosporous plant, producing microspores that contain the male gametophyte. Compare megasporangium Microspore The smaller of two kinds of spores produced by a heterosporous plant. Compare megaspore Microsporophyll In heterosporous plants, a modified leaf bearing one or more microsporangia. Compare megasporophyll Microstrobilis The smaller of two kinds of cones or strobili produced by gymnosperms, being male and producing the pollen. Compare megastrobilis Midrib The central and usually most prominent vein of a leaf or leaf-like organ. Also called the midvein Midvein See midrib Monad a single individual that is free from other individuals, not united with them into a group. The term is usually used for pollen to distinguish single grains from tetrads or polyads. Maniliform Resembling a string of beads Monocarpic Flowering and setting seed only once before dying. See also Semelparis Monocasium a samos inflorescence with the branches arising singly. Compare dicasium. Monocot. An abbreviation of monocotyledon. Monocotyledon. A flowering plant whose embryo contains one cotyledon seed leaf. Compare dicotyledon. Monoecious. A vascular plants, hermaphroditic, with all flowers bisexual, or with male and female reproductive structures in separate flowers but on the same plant, or of an inflorescence that has unisexual flowers of both sexes. Compare dioecious Monoecus Of bryophyte gametophytes, hermaphroditic, bisexual, when both male and female reproductive structures develop on the same individual. Compare dioecus Monograph Of a group of plants, a comprehensive treatise presenting an analysis and synthesis of taxonomic knowledge of that taxon, the fullest account possible at the time of a family, tribe or genus. It is generally worldwide in scope and evaluates all taxonomic treatments of that taxon including studies of its evolutionary relationships with other related taxa, and cytological, genetic, morphological, paleobotanical and ecological studies. The term is often incorrectly applied to any systematic work devoted to a single taxon. Compare revision Monomorphic of one type, rather than several. See also dimorphic two types and polymorphic many types. Monophilus Having a single leaf Monopodial A mode of stem growth and branching in which the main axis is formed by a single dominant meristem, cf. sympodial Monostromatic Being a single cell thick, as in the alga monostroma. Monotypic Containing only one taxon of the next lower rank, e.g. a family with only one genus, or a genus that includes only a single species 
morphology, the shape or form of an organism or part thereof, mucro, diminutive, mucronule, a sharp, short point, generally at the tip of a leaf or the tip of the midrib of a compound leaf, mucronate, terminating in a mucro, multiple fruit, a cluster of fruits produced from more than one flower and appearing as a single fruit, often on a swollen axis, as in Moraceae. Compare aggregate fruit, uricate, covered with short hard protuberances, mutation, an abrupt and inexplicable variation from the norm, such as the doubleness in flowers, changes in color, or habit of growth, mycobiont, the fungal component of a lichen compared to photobiont. Mycelium. The vegetative, non-reproductive part of a fungus, mostly composed of aggregations of hyphae. It functions in substrate decomposition and absorption of nutrients. Mycobiont. The fungal component of a lichen compared to photobiont. Mycorrhiza. AG, mycorrhizal one of several types of symbiotic association between a fungus and the roots of a plant. Mycotroph AG, mycotrophic a plant that obtains most or all of its carbon, water and nutrients by associating with a fungus. Topic N Native Naturally occurring in an area, but not necessarily confined to it. Compare endemic Natural hybrid A hybrid taxon produced by chance in the wild Naturalized Describing a plant, introduced from another region, that grows and reproduces readily in competition with the natural flora Nectar a usually sweet, nutrient-rich fluid produced by the flowers of many plants and collected by bees and other insects. Nectary Ag, nectariferous a specialized gland that secretes nectar. Neophyte A plant that has recently been introduced to a geographic area. Compare archaeophyte Nerve A synonym of vein Node the part of a stem from which leaves or branches arise. Nomen conservandum. Latin, a conserved name, usually a name that became so much better known than the correct name, that a substitution was made. Nomen illegitimum. Latin, a name that is either superfluous at its time of publication because the taxon to which it was applied already has a name, or the name has already been applied to another plant. A homonym. Nomen invalidum Latin, see valid publication a name that is not validly published, and technically is therefore not a botanical name. Abbreviation, nom, invul. Nomen nudum Latin, a name not published in accordance with the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants, usually without a diagnosis or description of the entity to which it applies, and without reference to either, such a name should not be used. Nomenclature The naming of things, often restricted to the correct use of scientific names in taxonomy, a system that sets out provisions for the formation and use of names. Noxious of plants, containing harmful or unwholesome qualities. Applied in conjunction with weed to specifically describe a plant which legislation deems harmful to the environment. Each state and territory in Australia has specific legislation governing noxious weeds. Nucellus The tissue of the ovule of a seed plant that surrounds the female gametophyte. It is enclosed by integuments and is not of epidermal origin. Numerous Stamens are described as numerous when there are more than twice as many as sepals or petals, especially when there is no set number of them. Nut A hard, dry, indehiscent fruit containing only one seed. Nutlet 
a small nut, one of the lobes or sections of the mature ovary of some members of the Borogenaceae, Verbenaceae, and Lamiaceae. Topic O. Ob. A prefix meaning inversely. Usually the same shape as that described by the word stem, but attached by the narrower end. See obcordate, ablanceolate and obovate. Obconic Of a fruit, hypenthium, pistil or calyx, shaped like an inverted cone, attached at the apex. Obcordate Of a leaf blade, broad and notched at the tip, heart-shaped but attached at the pointed end. Obdiplostamenus Having stamens arranged in two whorls, and having twice as many stamens as petals, with the outer whorl being opposite the petals. Compare diplostamenus, haplostamenus. Ablanceolate. Having a lanceolate shape but broadest in the upper third. Obligate. Of parasites unable to survive without a host. Compare facultative. Oblique. Slanting, of a leaf or stem, larger on one side of the midrib than the other, in other words asymmetrical. Obloid. Having a three-dimensional oblong shape, e.g. a fruit. Oblong. Having a length a few times greater than the width, with sides almost parallel and ends rounded. Obovate. Of a leaf, having a length about 1.5 times the width, and widest above the center. Obsolete Not evident, or at most rudimentary or vestigial. Obtuse Blunt or rounded, having converging edges that form an angle of more than 90 degrees. Compare acute Acrea Also spelled ochra a sheath formed from two stipples encircling the node in members of the polygonaceae. Odd pinnate Also imperipinnate. Having an odd number of leaflets in a compound pinnate leaf, such that there is only one terminal leaflet. Oft An abbreviation of Often Compare USU, and S, T. OID a suffix added to the stem of a generic name to form the name of a subfamily, e.g. fumaria fumarioidee. Olam Formerly, e.g. Olam B. Formerly in the Berlin herbarium Herbarium Berolinense. Ontogeny The sequence of developmental stages through which an organism passes as it grows. Operculum Calyptra a lid or cover that becomes detached at maturity, e.g. in eucalyptus, a cap covering the bud and formed by the fusion or cohesion of perianth parts. Opposite 1. Describing leaves or flowers born at the same level but on directly opposite sides of their common axis. 2. Describing the occurrence of something on the same radius as something else, e.g. anthers opposite sepals. Compare alternate Opus utica pressum Place opera utica pressa listed after the botanical name of a plant, or the name of a publication, this indicates that a publication is listed in the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi, and Plants as a suppressed work. Botanical names of the specified rank in the publication are considered not validly published Article 34 Orbicular Flat and more or less circular. Order A group of one or more families sharing common features, ancestry, or both. Ortet The original single parent plant from which a clone ultimately derives. Orthotropus When an ovule is erect, with the micropyle directed away from the placenta, a tropus. Compare Amphitropus, Anatropus, Campylotropus. Oval See elliptical Ovary The basal portion of a carpal or group of fused carpals, enclosing the ovules. Ovate 
shaped like a section through the long axis of an egg and attached by the wider end. Ovoid Egg-shaped, with wider portion at base, three-dimensional object, ovate in all sections through long axis. Ovule Loosely, the seed before fertilization, a structure in a seed plant within which one or more megaspores are formed after fertilization it develops into a seed. Topic. P Pachycol With a disproportionately thick trunk Pachycladus with disproportionately thick stems. Palaea. Plural palaei. 1. The upper of two bracts enclosing a grass flower, major contributors to chaff in harvested grain. 2. Chaffy scales on the receptacles of many asteraceae. 3. Chaffy scales on the stipe of many ferns. Paleot. Bearing polyi or chaffy scales, as in description of the receptacle of a capitulum of a plant in the Asteraceae. Palaceous Chaff-like in texture Palmate 1. Leaf with veins radiating out from a central point usually at the top of a petiole, resembling spread out fingers pointing away from the palm. 2. A compound palmate leaf has leaflets that radiate from a central point usually at the top of a petiole. Palmatifid Deeply divided into several lobes arising from more or less the same level. Palmatisect Intermediate between palmate and palmatifid, i.e. the segments are not fully separated at the base, often more or less digitate. Panicle Adj, paniculate a compound raceme, an indeterminate inflorescence in which the flowers are borne on branches of the main axis or on further branches of these. Papillionate Butterfly-like, having a corolla like that of a pea. Papia Place papillae, adj, papillos, papillate a small, elongated protuberance on the surface of an organ, usually an extension of one epidermal cell. Pappus In daisy florets, a tuft or ring of hairs or scales borne above the ovary and outside the corolla representing the reduced calyx, a tuft of hairs on a fruit. Paraparagonium Also paraparagon. Anomalous secondary outgrowth of the perianthal meristem with ramifying vasculature. See also paragonium, perianth and corona parasite. An organism living on or in a different organism, from which it derives nourishment. Some plant species are parasitic. Compare saprophyte and epiphyte. Parenchyma A versatile ground tissue composed of living primary cells which performs a wide variety of structural and biochemical functions in plants. Parietal Attached to the marginal walls of a structure, e.g. ovules attached to placentas on the wall of the ovary. See Placentation Peripinate Having an even number of leaflets or pinnae, i.e. terminated by a pair of pinnae as opposed to a single pinna. Compare Imperipinate Parthenocarpy The development or production of fruit without fertilization. Compare stenospermocarpy Patent Spreading, standing at 45 to 50 degrees to the axis. See also erecto patent and patulus Patulus See patent Possiflor Having few flowers per inflorescence. Compare pluriflor and uniflor. Pectinate Pinnately divided with narrow segments closely set like the teeth of a comb. Pedate Having a terminal lobe or leaflet, and on either side of it an axis curving outwards and backwards, bearing lobes or leaflets on the outer side of the curve. Pedicel Adge, pedicellate the stalk of a flower, may also be applied to the stalk of a capitulum in the Asteraceae. Peduncle Adge, pedunculate, the stalk of an inflorescence. 
Peltate Shield-like, with stock attached to the lower surface and not to the margin. Pellucid Transmitting light, for example, set of tiny gland dots in the leaves of e.g. Myrtaceae and Rutaceae that are visible when held in front of a light. Pendulous Hanging, for example an ovule attached to a placenta on the top of the ovary. Compare suspended Penicillate Tufted like an artist's brush, with long hairs towards one end. Peninervation peninerved. With pinnately arranged veins Pentamerous In five parts, particularly with respect to flowers, five parts in each whorl. See also trimerous and tetramerous. Pipo Type of berry formed from an inferior ovary and containing many seeds, usually large with a tough outer skin, for instance, pumpkin, cucumber. Perinating Of an organ that survives vegetatively from season to season. A period of reduced activity between seasons is usual. Perennial a plant whose life span extends over several years. Perfect of a flower, when bisexual. Perfoliate with its base wrapped around the stem so that the stem appears to pass through it, e.g. of leaves and bracts. Perforate with many holes. Used to describe the texture of pollen exine, and also to indicate that tracheary elements have a perforation plate. See also fenestrate Perforation plate In a tracheary element, part of the cell wall that is perforated, present in vessel members but not in tracheids. Should not be confused with a pit. Perianth The collective terms for the calyx and corolla of a flower generally used when the two are similar. Abbreviation, P for instance P3 plus 3 indicates the calyx and corolla each have three elements, or three sepals plus three petals. Pericarp The wall of a fruit, developed from the ovary wall. Periclinal Curved along parallel to a surface. Compare anticlinal Pericycle a cylinder of parenchyma or sclerenchyma cells that lies just inside the endodermis and is the outermost part of the steel of plants. Paragonium In flowering plants see perianth. 2. In mosses, the leaves surrounding the antheridia, also called a spash cup, e.g. in Polytrichum juniperinum. Perigenium a sac from a modified tubular bract, or when fully closed an utricle, around the pistillate flower of sedges. Periginous Born around the ovary, i.e. of perianth segments and stamens arising from a cup-like or tubular extension of receptacle free from the ovary but extending above its base. Compare epigenous, hypogenous. Persistent Remaining attached to the plant beyond the usual time of falling, for instance sepals not falling after flowering, flower parts remaining through maturity of fruit. Compare deciduous, caducus. Perule. Adj, perilet. 1. The scales covering a leaf or flower bud, or a reduced scale-like leaf surrounding the bud. Buds lacking perily are referred to as naked. 2. In camellias the final bracts and sepals become indistinguishable and are called perules. 3. A kind of sac formed by the adherent bases of the two lateral sepals in certain orchids. Petal In a flower, one of the segments or divisions of the inner whorl of non-fertile parts surrounding the fertile organs, usually soft and conspicuously colored. Compare sepal. Petaloid like a petal, soft in texture and colored conspicuously. Petiolar, petiolary. Associated with a petiole, as in petiolary glands. Petiolate. A leaf with a petiole. Compare sessile. Petiole. The stalk of a leaf. Petiolulae. The stalk of a leaflet. Petriculus. 
Rock dwelling, living on or among rocks. Phanaranthus Showy, as in showy flowers that advertise to pollinators, as opposed to Aphananthus unshowy. Phanerogum Gymnosperms and angiosperms, plants producing stamens and genetia, literally plants with conspicuous sexual reproductive organs. Compare cryptogams Phenology The study of the timing of seasonal biological phenomena, such as flowering, leaf emergence, fruit ripening and leaf fall. Phloem a specialized conducting tissue in vascular plants that transports sucrose from the leaves to other plant organs. Photobiont In a lichen, the component that does the photosynthesis, the green algae or blue-green algae cyanobacteria. Compare to mycobiont, the fungal component, also called the phycobiont. Photosynthesis the process by which energy from sunlight is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into simple sugars in cells containing chloroplasts. All plants, except certain parasites, can perform photosynthesis. Phycobiont In a lichen, a synonym for photobiont Filary An individual bract within an involucre or involucal Phyllid a leaf-like extension of the stem in bryophytes. Phyllode. Adge, phyllodineous a leaf with the blade much reduced or absent, and in which the petiole and or rotches perform the functions of the whole leaf, e.g. many acacias. Compare cladode. Philopodium. In ferns. A short outgrowth of the stem on which the frond is born and which remains attached to the rhizome after the frond has been shed. Philosphere The above-ground surface of plants is a habitat for epiphytic microorganisms. Phytomelon Also phytomelanin, adge. Phytomelanus a black, inert, organic material that forms a crust-like covering of some seeds, commonly found in asparagales, asteraceae, etc. Pylos Covered with soft, weak, thin and clearly separated hairs, which are usually defined as long and sometimes ascending. Pinna Plural pinnae A primary segment of a compound leaf. Pinnate a compound leaf with leaflets arranged on each side of a common petiole or axis, also applied to how the lateral veins are arranged in relation to the main vein. Panatophyte Pinately lobed Panatisect Pinately divided almost to midrib but segments still confluent Pinule or pinula Usage varies, ultimate free division or leaflet of a compound leaf, or a pinnate subdivision of a multipinnate leaf. Pistil 1. A single carpel when the carpels are free. 2. A group of carpels when the carpels are united by the fusion of their walls. Pistillate flower A flower containing one or more pistils but no stamens. Sometimes called a female flower. Pistillode. A sterile or rudimentary pistil. Pit. In tracheary elements, a section of the cell wall where the secondary wall is missing, and the primary wall is present. Pits generally occur in pairs and link two cells. Pith. The central region of a stem, inside the vascular cylinder, the spongy parenchymatous central tissue in some stems and roots. Placenta The tissue within an ovary to which the ovules are attached. Placentation The arrangement of ovules inside ovary, for example axile, free central, parietal, marginal, basal, or apical. Placidioid the form of a lichen thallus which radiates outward with the ends of the radiating arms peeling up from the substrate, but which lack a cortex on the underside, unlike folios lichens. Plant breeders' rights, PBR. 
These rights, governed by Plant Breeders' Rights Acts give the plant breeder legal protection over the propagation of a cultivar, and the exclusive rights to produce and to sell it, including the right to license others to produce and sell plants and reproductive material of a registered, deliberately bred variety. CF. UPOV. Plant Variety Rights PVR. Governed by the Plant Variety Rights the registration of new varieties is now governed by Plant Breeders' Rights. Plastocron The time between successive leaf initiation events Plicate Pleated, folded back and forth longitudinally like a fan, such as the leaves of fan palm species. The concept often appears in specific names in forms such as Kumara plicatilis and Acacia plicata. Commonly such names are not correctly appropriate, but are applied to distichous structures rather than plicate. Planerved Of leaves a suffix indicating that the main nerves are lateral and arise from a point distinctly above the base of the leaf. Combined with a numerical prefix to form words like three planerved, five planerved, and so on. Such leaves are especially characteristic of the family Melastomataceae. Plumos Like a feather, with fine hairs branching from a main axis. Plumule The part of an embryo that gives rise to the shoot system of a plant. Compare radical Pleuroflor Having many flowers per inflorescence. See also Passiflor and Uniflor. Pluriovulate. Having many ovules as in placentae, carpels or ovaries. Pneumatophore. A vertical, aerial at low tide, appendage to the roots of some plants, through which gases are exchanged, e.g. on mangroves. Pod. 1. A legume, the fruit of a leguminous plant, a dry fruit of a single carpal, splitting along two sutures. 2. Siliqua and silicula, the fruit of brassicaceae, a dry fruit composed of two carpels separated by a partition. Pollen. Powdery mass shed from anthers of angiosperms or microsporangia of gymnosperms, the microspores of seed plants, pollen grains. Pollen mass Pollen grains cohering by a waxy texture or fine threads into a single body, pollinium, e.g. in orchids. Pollen transmitting tissue The tissue in the style of a flower through which the pollen tubes grow. Pollination The transfer of pollen from the male organ anther to the receptive region of a female organ stigma. Pollinium See pollen mass. Polygamodioecious Having bisexual and male flowers on some plants and bisexual and female flowers on others. Compare androdioecious, andromonoecious, dioecious, monoecious, polygamomonoecious, polygamous. Polygamomonoecious Having male, female and bisexual flowers on the same plant. Compare androdioecious, andromonoecious, polygamodioecious, polygamous. Polygamous Having bisexual and unisexual flowers on the same plant. Polymorphic Of several different kinds in respect to shape and or size, hence polymorphism. See also monomorphic a single type and dimorphic two types. Polyploid with more than two of the basic sets of chromosomes in the nucleus, any sporophyte with cells containing three or more complete sets of chromosomes. Various combinations of words or numbers with ploid indicate the number of haploid sets of chromosomes, e.g. triploid. Topic. Three sets, tetraploid. Four sets, pentaploid. Topic. Five sets, hexaploid. Six sets, and so on. Polysteminous. 
Having numerous stamens, the number of stamens being at least twice the number of sepals or petals, but not strictly three or four times that number. Poem A fruit that has developed partly from the ovary wall but mostly from the hypentheum, e.g. apple. Population 1. All individuals of one or more species within a prescribed area. 2. A group of organisms of one species, occupying a defined area and usually isolated to some degree from other similar groups. 3. In statistics, the whole group of items or individuals under investigation. Poricidal. Opening by pores, like the capsule of a poppy, or like the anthers in several families of plants. Compare, longicidal. Posterior. Positioned behind, towards the rear, proximal. Compare anterior, distal. Prickle. Edge. Prickly a hard, pointed outgrowth from the surface of a plant involving several layers of cells but not containing a vein, a sharp outgrowth from the bark, detachable without tearing wood. Compare thorn. Primary species. In lichens, a species reproducing mainly by sexual reproduction, not vegetative reproduction. Primary vein The single vein or array of veins that is conspicuously larger than any others in a leaf. In pinnate venation, the single primary vein can generally be found in the middle of the leaf. In palmate venation, several such veins radiate from a point at or near the base of the leaf. Propagule in lichens, a part of the thallus that has both fungal and algal parts and can break off for vegetative reproduction, e.g. an isidium, philidium, philocladium, or sordium. Profil A leaf formed at the base of a shoot, usually smaller than those formed later. Pro party in part, in nomenclature, used to denote that the preceding taxon includes more than one currently recognized entity, and that only one of those entities is being considered. Procumbent Spreading along the ground but not rooting at the nodes, not as close to the ground as prostrate. Propagule any structure capable of generating a new plant, includes seeds, spores, bulbils, etc. Prostrate Lying flat on the ground. Protandrous Having male sex organs which mature before the female ones, e.g. a flower shedding pollen before the stigma is receptive. Compare protogenous Proteranthus New leaves appear before flowers. See also Hysteranthus and Synanthus Prothallus a hashtag gametophyte plant, usually flattened and delicate, e.g. in ferns and fern allies. Protogenous Having female sex organs which mature before the male ones, e.g. a flower shedding pollen after the stigma has ceased to be receptive. Compare protandrous Proximal Near the point of origin or attachment. Compare distal Pruinose Covered with a powdery, waxy material, having a bloom. Pseudanthium A type of inflorescence occurring in the Asteraceae and Euphorbiaceae, in which multiple flowers are grouped together to form a flower-like structure, commonly called a head or capitulum. Pseudo A prefix meaning, false, not genuine. E.g. a pseudo-bulb is a thickened, bulb-like internode in orchids, but not an actual bulb. Pseudobasifixed Anther, connected to filament of stamen by connective tissue which extends in a tube around the filament tip. See also basifixed and dorsifixed Pseudostipule An enlarged, persistent axillary bud scale that resembles a stipule, common in Bignoniaceae. Pseudoverticillate Having the appearance of being whorled verticillate, without actually being so Puberulous Also puberulent Covered with minute soft erect hairs Pubescent Downy, covered with short, soft, erect hairs Pulverulent 
having powdery or crumbly particles as if pulverized, pulvinate, having a pulvinus, pulvinus, a swelling at either end of a petiole of a leaf or petiolule of a leaflet, e.g. in Fabaceae, that permits leaf movement. Punctate Marked with dots. Punctiform Dot-like Pungent Having a sharp, hard point. Pustule A blister-like swelling. Pustulate Having pustules Pyramidal Of a growth habit tetrahedral, pyramid-shaped Pyrene The stone of a droop, consisting of the seed surrounded by the hardened endocarp Piriform Pear-shaped, a term for solid shapes that are broadest in the upper third and abruptly narrowed near the base. Topic. Q. Quadrate More or less square Topic R Race me Adj, racimos an indeterminate inflorescence in which the main axis produces a series of flowers on lateral stalks, the oldest at the base and the youngest at the top. Compare spike Rachilla Rachilla the axis of a grass spikelet, above the glooms. Roches Plural rochises, rachides the axis of an inflorescence or a pinnate leaf, for example ferns, secondary roches is the axis of a pinna in a bipinnate leaf distal to and including the lowermost pedicel attachment. Radial with structures radiating from a central point as spokes on a wheel, for example, the lateral spines of a cactus. Radiate of daisies, of a capitulum, with ray florets surrounding disc florets. Radical springing from the root, clustered at base of stem. Radical the part of an embryo giving rise to the root system of a plant. Compare plumule. Rainforest A moist temperate or tropical forest dominated by broad-leaved trees that form a continuous canopy. Remet An individual member of a clone. Remical A single-leafed stem, as in Pleurothallus orchids. Ray 1. Zygomorphic ligulate flowers in a radiate flowerhead, that is, ray florets, flowers, for example Asteraceae. 2. Each of the branches of an umbel. Receptacle The axis of a flower, in other words, floral axis, torus, for example in Asteraceae, the floral base or receptacle is the expanded tip of the peduncle on which the flowers are inserted. Recurved Bent or curved backwards or downwards. Reduplicate. Folded outwards, or with the two abaxial surfaces together. Reflexed. Bent sharply back or down. Registered name. A cultivar name accepted by the relevant International Cultivar Registration Authority. Registration. 1. The act of recording a new cultivar name with an international cultivar registration authority. 2. Recording a new cultivar name with a statutory authority like the Plant Breeders Rights Office. 3. Recording a trademark with a trademarks office. Regular. See actinomorphic. Reniform. Kidney shaped. Resupinate. 1. In botany, describing leaves or flowers that are in an inverted position because the petiole or pedicel, respectively, is twisted 180 degrees, compare, hash hyper dash resupinate. 2. In lichenology, referring to either having or being a fruiting body that lies flat on the substrate, with the hymenium either over the whole surface or at the periphery. Reticulate. 
forming a network or reticulum, e.g. veins that join one another at more than one point. Retrorse Bent backwards or downwards. Compare antrorse Retuse Having a blunt obtuse and slightly notched apex. Revision An account of a particular plant group, like an abbreviated or simplified monograph. Sometimes confined to the plants of a particular region. Similar to a monograph in clearly distinguishing the taxa and providing a means for their identification. Compare monograph Revolute Rolled under downwards or backwards, for example when the edges of leaves are rolled under towards the midrib. Compare involute Rachis See Rachis Resine the root or trunk projection of a folio's lichen that attaches the lichen to the substrate what the lichen is growing on rhizodermis the root epidermis the outermost primary cell layer of the root rhizome a perennial underground stem usually growing horizontally see also stolen abbreviation riz rhizomatous Adj. A plant whose above ground stem is derived from a below ground stem rhizome, cf. arizomatous a rhizomatic. Rhizosphere. The below ground surface of plants and adjacent soil is a habitat for microorganisms. Rhombic. Like a rhombus, an oblique figure with four equal sides. Compare trapeziform, trellate. Rhomboid. A four-sided figure with opposite sides parallel but with adjacent sides an unequal length like an oblique rectangle, see also rhombic. Rhomboidal A shape, for instance of a leaf, that is roughly diamond-shaped with length equal to width. Remos With many cracks, as in the surface of a crustus areolate lichen. Root a unit of a plant's axial system which is usually underground, does not bear leaves, tends to grow downwards, and is typically derived from the radical of the embryo. Root hairs Outgrowths of the outermost layer of cells just behind the root tips, functioning as water-absorbing organs. Root microbiome The dynamic community of microorganisms associated with plant roots. Rootstock 1. The part of a budded or grafted plant which supplies the root system, also simply called a stock. 2. Plants selected to produce a root system with some specific attribute, e.g. a virus-free rootstock. Rosette When parts are not whorled or opposite but appear so, due to the contractions of internodes, e.g. the petals in a double rose or a basal cluster of leaves usually close to the ground in some plants. Rostrate With a beak Rotate Circular and flattened, for example a corolla with a very short tube and spreading lobes for instance some solanaceae. Ruderal a plant that colonizes or occupies disturbed waste ground. See also weed. Rudimentary. Poorly developed and not functional. Compare vestigial. Rugose. Wrinkled. Rugulose. Finely wrinkled. Ruminate. Usually applied to endosperm, irregularly grooved or ridged, appearing chewed, e.g. the endosperm in certain members of Meristicaceae. Runcinate Sharply panatophid or cleft, with the segments directed downward. Runner See stolen. Rupiculus Rupestral, saxicolus, growing on or among rocks. Compare epilithic and lithophytic. Rush A plant of the family Juncaceae or, more loosely, applied to various monocotyledons. Topic S Cicate Pouched or shaped like a sac Sagittate 
shaped like the head of an arrow, narrow and pointed but gradually enlarged at the base into two straight lobes directed downwards, may refer only to the base of a leaf with such lobes. Compare hastate Salverform Trumpet-shaped, having a long, slender tube and a flat, abruptly expanded limb. Samara a dry, indehiscent fruit with its wall expanded into a wing, e.g. in the genus Acer. Samphire A common name given to various edible coastal plants, such as Silicornia spp. Amaranthaceae, Crithmum maritimum and Limbarda crithmoides Saprophyte Adge, saprophytic an organism deriving its nourishment from decaying organic matter and usually lacking chlorophyll. Compare parasite and epiphyte. Sarmentos Having long, slender, prostrate stolons runners. Saxicollis Growing on stone, like some lichens. Scabreed Also scabrous. Rough to the touch, with short hard protrusions or hairs. Scalariform Ladder like in structure or appearance. Scale 1. A reduced or rudimentary leaf, for example around a dormant bud. 2. A flattened epidermal outgrowth, such as those commonly found on the leaves and rhizomes of ferns. Scandent Climbing, by whatever means. See also, Scandent in Wiktionary. Scape Adge, scapos a stem like flowering stalk of a plant with radical leaves. Scapos Having the floral axis more or less erect with few or no leaves, consisting of a scape. Scarious Dry and membranous. Schizocarp a dry fruit formed from more than one carpal but breaking apart into individual carpels maricarps when ripe. Cyan The aerial part of a graft combination, induced by various means to unite with a compatible understock or rootstock. Scleried A cell with a thick, often lignified, cell wall that is shorter than a fiber cell and dies soon after the thickening of its cell wall. Sclerenchyma A strengthening or supporting tissue composed of scleriods or of a mixture of scleriods and fibers Sclerophyll Adge, sclerophyllus a plant with hard, stiff leaves, leaves stiffened with thick-walled cells Scorpioid Of a samos inflorescence, branching alternately on one side and then the other. Compare helicoid Scrobiculate Having very small pits. Scrubland. Dense vegetation dominated by shrubs. Scurf. Minute, loose, membranous scales on the surface of some plant parts, such as leaves. Secondary metabolite. Chemicals produced by a plant that do not have a role in so-called primary functions such as growth, development, photosynthesis, reproduction, etc. Secondary species In lichens, a species taxon of lichen reproducing only by vegetative means, whose components reproduce mainly by sexual means, cf. primary species. Secretory tissue The tissues concerned with the secretion of gums, resins, oils and other substances in plants. Section Sectio. The category of supplementary taxa intermediate in rank between subgenus and series. It is a singular noun always written with a capital initial letter, in combination with the generic name. Secant. Having all the parts grouped on one side or turned to one side, applied especially to inflorescences. Sedge. A plant of the family Cyperaceae. Seed. A ripened ovule, consisting of a protective coat enclosing an embryo and food reserves, a propagating organ formed in the sexual reproductive cycle of gymnosperms and angiosperms together, the seed plants. Segment 
a part or subdivision of an organ, e.g. a petal is a segment of the corolla. A term sometimes used when the sepals and petals are indistinguishable. Self-pollination Also selfing. The acceptance by stigmas of pollen from the same flower or from flowers on the same plant, which means they are self-compatible. Semaphyll a structure such as a bract or a sepal if the remainder of the perianth is inconspicuous which has become modified to attract pollinators. Plural, semaphyls Semilparity When a plant flowers once then dies Semity rate Rounded on one side but flat on the other. See also terite Senesioid See anthemoid Sensitive A descriptive term for stigmas that, in response to touch, close the two lobes of the stigma together, ending the receptivity of the stigma, at least for the time that the lobes are closed together. Mamulus is perhaps the best known example. Sensu In the sense of Sensu auct Of a plant group or name. As cited by a named authority Sensu amplo of a plant group or name. In a generous or ample sense. Sensu lato of a plant group. In a broad sense. Sensu strictissimo of a plant group. In the narrowest sense. Sensu stricto of a plant group. In a narrow sense. Sepal in a flower, one of the segments or divisions of the outer whorl of non-fertile parts surrounding the fertile organs, usually green. Compare petal, septicidal, of a fruit, to hissing along the partitions between loculi. Compare loculicidal, septum, place. Septa a partition, e.g. the membranous wall separating the two valves of the pod of brassicaceae. Seriate Arranged in rows Serratius Silky with dense oppressed hairs Series The category of supplementary taxa intermediate in rank between section and species. It is often used as a plural adjective, as in Primula subgenus Primula sect. Primula series a calls. Serrate Toothed with asymmetrical teeth pointing forward, like the cutting edge of a saw. Serrate. Finally, serrate. Sessile. Attached without a stalk, e.g., of a leaf without a petiole or a stigma, when the style is absent. Seta. Place sete, adge. Cetos, cetaceous, a bristle or stiff hair. In bryophytes, the stalk of the sporophyte. A terminal seta is an appendage to the tip of an organ, e.g. the primary rotches of a bipinnate leaf in acacia. Sheath A tubular or rolled part of an organ, e.g. the lower part of the leaf in most grasses. Shoot The aerial part of a plant, a stem including its dependent parts leaves, flowers, etc. Shrub a woody perennial plant without a single main trunk, branching freely, and smaller than a tree. Sigmoid Shaped like the letter S. Silicola A stout siliqua not more than twice as long as wide. Siliqua A dry, dehiscent fruit more than twice as long as wide formed from a superior ovary of two carpels, with two parietal placentas and divided into two loculi by a false septum. Silky Densely covered with fine, soft, straight, oppressed hairs, with a lustrous sheen and satiny to the touch. Silviculture The science of forestry and the cultivation of woodlands for commercial purposes and wildlife conservation. Simple Undivided or unsegmented, e.g. a leaf not divided into leaflets note, however, that a simple leaf may still be entire, toothed or lobed or an unbranched hair or inflorescence. Sinuate 
having deep, wave-like depressions along the margins, but more or less flat. Compare undulate sinus a notch or depression between two lobes or teeth in the margin of an organ solitary single, of flowers that grow one plant per year, one in each axle, or widely separated on the plant, not grouped in an inflorescence soralia in a lichen, the structure that bears sordium for non-sexual reproduction sordium Place serratia in a lichen, a small groups of algal cells surrounded by fungal filaments that form in soralia, which break off and grow new lichens without sexual reproduction after being dispersed by wind. Compare to an isidium, which breaks off and is dispersed by mechanical means. Sp. An abbreviation of species singular, often used when the genus is known but the species has not been determined, as in Brassica sp. CSPP SPP An abbreviation of species plural, often used to collectively refer to more than one species of the same genus, as in Astragalus spp. CSP Spadix A spicate spike-like inflorescence with a stout, often succulent axis Spath Adj, spathaceous a large bract in sheathing an inflorescence. Traditionally any broad flap blade Spathylate spatulate. Spoon-shaped, broad at the tip with a narrowed projection extending to the base Species A group, or populations of individuals, sharing common features and or ancestry, generally the smallest group that can be readily and consistently recognized. Often, a group of individuals capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. The basic unit of classification, the category of taxa of the lowest principal rank in the nomenclatural hierarchy. Specific epithet follows the name of the genus, and is the second word of a botanical binomial. The generic name and specific epithet together constitute the name of a species, i.e. the specific epithet is not the species name. Spica Adj, spicata spike Spike Adj, spicate an unbranched, indeterminate inflorescence in which the flowers are without stalks. Compare race me. Spikelet A subunit of a spike inflorescence, especially in grasses, sedges and some other monocotyledons, consisting of one to many flowers and associated bracts or glooms Spine Adj, spinosa stiff, sharp structure formed by the modification of a plant organ that contains vascular tissue, e.g. a lateral branch or a stipule, includes thorns Spinescent Ending in a spine, modified to form a spine. Spiral Of arrangement, when plant parts are arranged in a succession of curves like the thread of a screw, or coiled in a cylindrical or conical manner. Splash cup sporangia. A cup-like structure in cryptogams functioning in spore dispersal, whereby the energy of raindrops falling into the cup causes the water to splash back out carrying the spore. Sporangium sporangia. A structure in which spores are formed. Sporangiophore An organ bearing sporangia, e.g. the cones of aquisitum. Spore a haploid propagule, produced by meiosis in diploid cells of a sporophyte that can germinate to produce a multicellular gametophyte. Sporocarp A fruiting body containing spores. Sporophyll In pteridophytes, a modified leaf that bears a sporangium or sporangia. Sporophyte the haploid multicellular phase in the alternation of generations of plants and algae that produces the spores. Compare gametophyte Sport A naturally occurring variant of a species, not usually present in a population or group of plants, a plant that has spontaneously mutated so that it differs from its parent plant. Spreading 
extending horizontally, e.g. in branches. Standing out at right angles to an axis, e.g. in leaves or hairs. Spur 1. A short shoot. 2. A conical or tubular outgrowth from the base of a perianth segment, often containing nectar. Squamule Plural squamules, squamily, small scales. In lichens, squamules are overlapping plate like forms, sometimes overlapping so much as to become leaf like, but which lack a lower cortex. Unlike the leafy forms of folios lichens, adjective, squamulos, squamulos, covered with small scales. Squamules. In lichens, being composed of squamules, squaros. Having tips of leaves, stems, etc. radiating or projecting outwards, e.g. in the moss Rhytodiadelphus squarosus. St. An abbreviation for sometimes. Compare USU, and oft. Stock. The supporting structure of an organ, usually narrower in diameter than the organ itself. Stamen. Adge, stamen at the male organ of a flower, consisting usually of a stalk called the filament and a pollen-bearing head called the anther. Stamenate flower A flower with stamens but no pistil. Sometimes called a male flower. Staminode A sterile stamen, often rudimentary, sometimes petal-like. Staminophore a structure, around the apex of eucalypt, Myrtaceae hypanthia, that supports the stamens. Standard The large posterior petal of pea flowers. Standard specimen A representative specimen of a cultivar or other taxon which demonstrates how the name of that taxon should be used. Steel the primary vascular system phloem, xylem and ground tissue of plant stems and roots. Stellate Star-shaped Stem The plant axis, either aerial or subterranean, which bears nodes, leaves, branches and flowers. Stem clasping Cm plexical Stenospermocarpy the development or production of fruit that is seedless or has minute seeds because of the abortion of seed development. Compare Parthenocarpy Sterile Infertile, as with a stamen that does not bear pollen or a flower that does not bear seed. Stigma The pollen-receptive surface of a carpal or group of fused carpels, usually sticky, usually a point or small head at the summit of the style. Stipe In ferns, the stalk of a frond, generally a small stalk. Stipella Also stipel, place stipelli one of two small secondary stipples at the base of leaflets in some species. Stipitate Stalked, born on a stipe, of an ovary, born on a gynophore. Stipulate Bearing stipples Stipule a small appendage at the bases of leaves in many dicotyledons. Stock See rootstock Stolen Also runner. A slender, prostrate or trailing stem, producing roots and sometimes erect shoots at its nodes. See also rhizome Stoloniferous Having stolons Stoma Place stomata a pore or small hole in the surface of a leaf or other aerial organ allowing the exchange of gases between tissues and the atmosphere. Striate Striped with parallel, longitudinal lines or ridges. Strigos Covered with oppressed, straight, rigid, bristle-like hairs, the oppressed equivalent of hispid. Strobilis Place strobili a cone-like structure consisting of sporophylls e.g. conifers and club mosses or sporangiophores e.g. an equistopsida born close together on an axis. Style An elongated part of a carpal or a group of fused carpals between the ovary and the stigma. Stylodium 
an elongate stigma that resembles a style, a false style, e.g. commonly found in the Poaceae and Asteraceae. Stylopodium A swelling on top of the ovary, at the base of the styles commonly found in flowers of the Apiaceae. Stylolus the elongated apex of a free carpal which functions like the style of a syncarpus ovary, allowing pollen tubes from its stigma to enter the locule of only that carpal. Subcoriaceous Slightly leathery or coriaceous Subgenus A category of supplementary taxa intermediate between genus and section. The name of a subgenus is a singular noun, always has a capital initial letter and is used in combination with the generic name, e.g. primula subgenus primula. Subglobose Inflated, but less than spherical. See also globose Subshrub Also called an undershrub. A small shrub which may have partially herbaceous stems, but generally a woody plant less than 1 meter 3.3 feet high. Subspecies A taxonomic category within a species, usually used for geographically isolated or morphologically distinct populations of the same species. Its taxonomic rank occurs between species and variety. Subtend to stand beneath or close to, as in a bract at the base of a flower. Subquadrangular Not quite square. Compare quadrangular Subulate Narrow and tapering gradually to a fine point. Succulent 1. Juicy or fleshy 2. A plant with a fleshy habit Sucker a shoot of more or less subterranean origin, an erect shoot originating from a bud on a root or a rhizome, sometimes at some distance from the stem of the plant. Suffrutex Place suffrutus is a subshrub or undershrub. Sulcate Furrowed, grooved May be single monosulcate, two bisulcate or many polysulcate Superficial On the surface Superior of an ovary, born above the level of attachment of the other floral parts, or above the base of a hypentheum. Compare inferior and half inferior. Suspended of an ovule, when attached slightly below the summit of the ovary. Compare pendulous. Suture a junction or seam of union. See fissure and commissure. Sward. Extensive, more or less even cover of a surface, e.g. a lawn grass. Compare tussock Sympatric Having more or less similar or overlapping ranges of distribution. Sympodial A mode of growth in which the main axis is repeatedly terminated and replaced with a lateral branch. Examples occur in the family Combrataceae, including the genera Terminalia and Combritum, cf. Monopodial. Syconium A hollow infructescence containing multiple fruit, such as that of a fig. Sin Also sim. A prefix meaning, with, together. Symmetrical Capable of being divided into at least two equal, mirror image halves e.g. zygomorphic or having rotational symmetry e.g. regular or actinomorphic. Compare irregular and asymmetrical. Sympetalous Having united conate or fused petals, not free hashtag apipetalous Synangium a fused aggregate of sporangia, e.g. in the trilocular sporangia of the whisk fern Silatum. Synanthus A type of growth in which new leaves and flowers appear and die back at the same time. See also Hysteranthus and Proteranthus. Synaptospermy The dispersal of diaspers as units, where each bears more than one seed. For example where each diaspore comprises an entire inflorescence, as in Brunsvigia or multi-seeded fruit as in Tribulus zyhiri. 
Ephemeral synaptospermy is the term for when the diaspores split into units containing fewer or single seeds each, as in most tumbleweeds. True synaptospermy is when the diaspore generally remains entire until germination, as commonly happens in species of Grelum. Syncarpus of a genetium composed of united carpels. Synonym an outdated or alternative name for the same taxon. Synesius A synonym of bisexual. Syntepolis Having fused tepals. See also sympetalis having fused petals. T Taproot the primary descending root of a plant with a single dominant root axis Tartarius Having a surface that is coarse, thick, rough, and crumbling Taxon Place taxa a group or category in a system of classification Taxonomy The study of the principles and practice of classification Tegman the inner layer of the testa seed coat. It develops from the inner integument of the ovule. Tendril A slender organ modified from a stem, leaf, leaflet or stipule and used by climbing plants to cling to an object. Tepal A perianth segment, either sepal or petal, usually used when all perianth segments are indistinguishable in appearance. Terite also semi-derate. Circular in cross-section, more or less cylindrical without grooves or ridges. Terminal. Situated at the tip or apex. Ternate. In groups of three, of leaves, arranged in whorls of three, of a single leaf, having the leaflets arranged in groups of three. Terrestrial. Of or on the ground, of a habitat, on land as opposed to in water aquatic, on rocks lithophytic, or on other plants epiphytic. Testa The seed coat Tetrad A group of four, usually used to refer to four pollen grains which remain fused together through maturity e.g. in the Epacridaceae. Tetragonal Square, having four corners, four angled, e.g. the cross sections of stems of herbaceous lamiaceae. Tetramerous In four parts, particularly with respect to flowers, four parts in each whorl. See also trimerous and pentamerous. Tetraploid Having four complete sets of chromosomes in each sporophyte cell. Tetraspore the asexual spore of red algae. It is so named because each sporangium produces just four spores. See Rhodophysiae. Thalamus Obsolete, 1. A synonym for receptacle. 2. The inflorescence disc of members of the Asteraceae. 3. A calyx, as used by Carl Linnaeus. Thallus The vegetative Part, part other than sexual fruit bodies of a lichen that has both the fungus mycobiont and photobiont, plural thalli. Theca One of the usually two syningia in which pollen is produced in flowering plants. It consists of two fused sporangia known as pollen sacs. The wall between the pollen sacs disintegrates before dehiscence, which is usually by a common slit. Thorn a sharp, stiff point, usually a modified stem, that cannot be detached without tearing the subtending tissue, a spine. Compare prickle Throat The opening of a corolla or perianth Thirse A branched inflorescence in which the main axis is indeterminate racimos, and the lateral branches determinate samos. Tomentum a dense covering of short, matted hairs. Tomentos is often used as a general term for bearing an indumentum, but this is not a recommended use. Toothed Having a more or less regularly incised margin. Taurus See receptacle
Transmitting tissue See pollen transmitting tissue Trapeziform 1. Like a trapezium a four-sided figure with two parallel sides of unequal length. 2. Like a trapezoid a four-sided figure, or quadrilateral, with neither pair of sides equal, sometimes used erroneously as a synonym for rhombic. 3. A woody plant, usually with a single distinct trunk and generally more than 2 to 3 meters 6.6 .6 to 9.8 feet tall. Triad A group of three Triangular Planar and with three sides Tribe A taxonomic grouping that ranks between genus and family Trichome in non-filamentous plants, any hair-like outgrowth from the epidermis, e.g. a hair or bristle, sometimes restricted to unbranched epidermal outgrowths. Trifid Split into three parts. See also bifid Trifoliate A compound leaf of three leaflets, for example, a clover leaf Trifoliolate See trifoliate Trigonus Triangular in cross section and obtusely angled. Compare triquetrous, trimerous, in three parts, particularly with respect to flowers, having three parts in each whorl. See also tetramerous and pentamerous. Trinerved, having three nerves or veins. Triplinerved, of leaves having three main nerves with the lateral nerves arising from the midnerve above the base of the leaf triquetrous more or less triangular in cross section but acutely angled with three distinct longitudinal ridges compare trigonus trivalve divided into three valves also trivalvar see also bivalve trivial name the second word in the two-part scientific name of an organism. Compare specific epithet Trophophyll A vegetative, nutrient-producing leaf or microphyll whose primary function is photosynthesis. It is not specialized or modified for some other function. Compare sporophyll Trolate Ovate but angled, as with a bricklayer's trowel, inversely kite-shaped. Compare rhombic, truncate, cut off squarely, having an abruptly transverse end, trunk, the upright, large and typically woody main stem of a tree, truss, a compact cluster of flowers or fruits arising from one center, evident in many rhododendrons, tuber, an underground storage organ formed by the swelling of an underground stem which produces buds and stores food, forming a seasonal perennating organ, e.g. a potato. Compare tuberoid Tubercle A small wart-like outgrowth or protuberance of tissue Tuberculate Covered in tubercles. See warty Tuberoid an underground storage organ formed by the swelling of a root, occurs in many orchids. Tuberous Resembling a tuber or producing tubers. Tubular Having the form of a tube or cylinder. Tufted Densely fasciculate at the tip. Tunic The outer covering of some bulbs and corms. Tunicate of bulbs consisting of concentric coats turbinate shaped like a spinning top or beetroot turgid swollen with liquid bloated firm compare flaxid tussock a dense tuft of vegetation usually well separated from neighboring tussocks for example in some grasses compare sward two ranked Having leaves arranged in two rows in the same plane, on opposite sides of the branch. See distitious. Type. 
an item usually an herbarium specimen to which the name of a taxon is permanently attached, i.e. a designated representative of a plant name. Important in determining the priority of names available for a particular taxon. Type genus In nomenclature, a single genus on which a taxonomic family is based. U Umbel A racemose inflorescence in which all the individual flower stalks arise in a cluster at the top of the peduncle and are of about equal length. In a simple umbel, each stalk is unbranched and bears only one flower. A samos umbel looks similar to an ordinary umbel but its flowers open centrifugally. Umbo a rounded elevation, such as in the middle of the top of an umbrella or mushroom, a central boss or protuberance, such as on the scale of a cone. Umbonate Having an umbo, with a conical or blunt projection arising from a flatter surface, as on the top of a mushroom or in the scale of a pine cone. Unciform Hook-shaped Uncinate Having a hook at the apex Undershrub A low shrub, often with flowering branches that die off in winter. Compare subshrub Understory Plant life growing beneath the forest canopy Undulate Wavy and not flat. Compare sinuate Uniflor Having a single flower uniflory. Compare posiflor few and pluriflor many Unilocular Having one loculus or chamber, e.g. the ovary in the families Proteaceae and Fabaceae. Uniserial Arranged in a single row or series. Unbranched. Uniseriate Uniseriate Arranged in a single row or series. Unbranched. Uniserial Unisexual of one sex, bearing only male or only female reproductive organs, dioecious, dioecious. See sexual reproduction in plants. Unitegmike of an ovule covered by a single integument. See also bitegmike, having two integuments. Urseolate shaped like an urn or pitcher, with a swollen middle and narrowing top. Examples include the pitchers of many species of the pitcher plant genera Saracenia and Nepenthes. USU An abbreviation for usually. Compare S, T, and oft. Utricle 1. A small bladder, a membranous bladder-like sac from the ovary wall, thin pericarp, becomes more or less bladdery or inflated at maturity enclosing an ovary or fruit. 2. In sedges, a fruit in which the fruit is loosely encloses from a modified tubular bract, see perigenium. Topic V. Vollecular canal. A resin canal coinciding with a longitudinal groove in the seeds of Asteraceae. A longitudinal cavity in the cortex of the stems of Aquisitum, coinciding with a groove in the stem surface. Valvate Of sepals and petals in bud, meeting edge to edge but not overlapping. Valve A portion of an organ that fragments or splits open, e.g. the teeth-like portions of a pericarp in a split to hist capsule or pod when ripe. Var an abbreviation of varietas. Variant A plant or group of plants showing some measure of difference from the characteristics associated with a particular taxon. Variegated Irregularly marked with blotches or patches of another color. Varietas Often variety in common usage and abbreviated as var. A taxonomic rank below that of species and between the ranks of subspecies and form. Vascular Referring to the conducting tissues xylem and phloem of vascular plants. Vascular bundle 
a bundle of vascular tissue in the primary stems of vascular plants, consisting of specialized conducting cells for the transport of water xylem and assimilate phloem. Vasculum A container used by botanists for collecting field specimens. Vein A strand of vascular tissue, e.g. in the leaves of vascular plants, a nerve. Veinlet a small vein, the ultimate visible division of a vein. Velamen A spongy tissue covering the aerial roots of orchids and some other epiphytes. Velvety Densely covered with fine, short, soft, erect hairs. Venation The arrangement of veins in a leaf. Ventral the front, in particular, towards the axis adaxial, in a lateral organ or towards the substrate in a prostrate plant. Compare dorsal and abaxial. Vernation The arrangement of unexpanded leaves in a bud, the order in which leaves unfold from a bud. Vernonioid In compositi, style with sweeping hairs borne on abaxial surfaces of style branches. Verusiform Wart-like in form Verrucos Having warts Verruculose Minutely verrucose, minutely warty Versatile Of anthers swinging freely about the point of attachment to the filament Verticillate Arranged in one or more whorls, i.e. several similar parts arranged at the same point of the axis, e.g. leaf arrangement. Compare pseudoverticillate, appearing whorled or verticillate but not actually so. Verticillister A type of pseudoverticillate inflorescence, typical of the Lamiaceae, in which pseudo-whorls are formed from pairs of opposite semis. Vesicular of hairs bladder-like, vesiculus, bearing such hairs. Vessel A capillary tube formed from a series of open-ended cells in the water-conducting tissue of a plant. Vestigial Reduced in form and function from the normal or ancestral condition. Villus Abounding in or covered with long, soft, straight hairs, shaggy with soft hairs. Vine 1. Scandent plants climbing by means of trailing or twining stems or runners. 2. Such a stem or runner. 3. A member of the genus Vitus. Vergate. Diminutive, virgulate wand-shaped, twiggy, especially referring to erect, straight stems. In mycology, referring to a pileus with radiating ribs or lines. Viridiplantae. A clade of autotrophic organisms that includes the green algae, caraphyta and land plants, all of which have cellulose in their cell walls, chloroplasts derived from primary endosymbiosis with cyanobacteria that contain chlorophylls A and B and lack phycobilins. Viscid Sticky, coated with a thick, syrupy secretion. Viviparous 1. Referring to seeds or fruits which germinate before being shed from the parent plant. 2. The development of plantlets on non-floral organs, e.g. leaves. <laughs> w Warty a surface covered with small round protuberances, especially in fruit, leaves, twigs and bark. See tuberculate. Watershoot. An erect, strong growing or epicormic shoot developing from near the base of a shrub or tree, but distinct from a sucker. Weed. 1. Any plant growing where it is not wanted, commonly associated with disrupted habitats. See also ruderal. 2. Agricultural weed an unwanted plant which grows among agricultural crops. 3. 
Environmental weed, a naturalized, exotic, or ecologically out of balance indigenous species outside the agricultural or garden context, which, as a result of invasion, adversely affects the survival or regeneration of indigenous species in natural or partly natural vegetation communities. Wild, originating from a known wild or purely natural habitat, wilderness. Whorl. A ring of organs born at the same level on an axis, for example leaves, bracts or floral parts. Wing 1. A membranous expansion of a fruit or seed which aids in dispersal, for instance on pine seeds. 2. A thin flange of tissue extending beyond the normal outline of a structure, e.g. on the column of some orchids, on stems, on petioles. 3. One of the two lateral petals of a flower of subfamily Faboidae of family Fabaceae, located between the adaxial standard banner petal and the two abaxial keel petals. Woolly Very densely covered with long, more or less matted or intertwined hairs, resembling a sheep's wool. Topic X. Xeromorph A plant with structural features e.g. hard or succulent leaves or functional adaptations that prevent water loss by evaporation, usually associated with arid habitats, but not necessarily drought tolerant. Compare xerophyte Xerophyte A plant generally living in a dry habitat, typically showing xeromorphic or succulent adaptation a plant able to tolerate long periods of drought. Compare xeromorph Xylem A specialized water-conducting tissue in vascular plants. Z Zonate Having light and dark circular bands or rings Zygomorphic Bilaterally symmetrical, symmetrical about one vertical plane only, applies to flowers in which the perianth segments within each whorl vary in size and shape. Compare actinomorphic, irregular. Zygote A fertilized cell, the product of fusion of two gametes. Topic. See also Glossary of biology Glossary of plant morphology Glossary of leaf morphology Glossary of scientific naming International scientific vocabulary Plant morphology Floral formula, abbreviations used in describing flower parts Plant anatomy Palynologia